Hello morning or good night for some. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Hey there, cat, panzer, lamp, Ariane, forms. Hey, forms. And morning, Belhan. Where are you crying? Where are you sad? <laughs> This model is so cute. Thank you. It's a model I'm. It's a it's a temporary temporary model I'm using. While I get my my definitive like my definitive one, but it is very cute. I love it. That's why I chose it because I didn't I didn't have any to use and I like I really wanted to use a live to the model. And like I kind of looked around and I was like, oh wow, that is actually very cute and it. Kind of fits my vibe, you know. So, so I got it. Did you get Hatsuchiri? Yes, I did. I did. I got Hatsuchiri and the lazy. But yeah, how is everyone doing? Woke up around four again. Been listening to Watamel, Lofi, Lullaby. Try to get back to sleep all morning. Oh no. I guess now you get to listen to pain and suffering, love and hope. But at least my hat is five star now. Wow. Nine pound nine point five K. How do people how do people raise their dolls like above above seven K? Perfect algo, I guess. I still need to Perfect my algorithms. Five star and upgrade skill should get you to 8k. Oh yeah, that reminds me I actually need to need to max skills of all my girls. A skill... A skill his para paradigm? Oh... As I am stream, why? I'm, a, I'm a speaking too low, too softly? Sorry, my sister is sleeping in the next room, so... <laughs> Notice with Mince Meat? Ooh... Me realizing my Nanaka was level 2 skills for like 4 days. Oh no! Oh no! Six hundred k exp. Holy shit! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Level seventy is not really required, so I'm just like, I'll leave it for after. You know, when I have like nothing else to do, I'll be like, okay, maybe I level up someone to seventy. <laughs> but for now, no, thank you, no, thank you. One point two mil. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, anyway, everyone is in game mode already, I see, so let's jump into the game. You max out Hatsu and Kuro. I'm trying to do that, but it's like, it's hard because I'm too casual. Speaking of, speaking of dolls, I used to unlock this. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look. Oh, I haven't done, I haven't finished Exception, Pro Exception Protocol, I need to do that today. で作業離れない寂しいだから大都市にぎやか場所シオン好き言語中枢もし修理大都市でたくさん友達シオン is so cute Play EP, it's free stuff. Yeah, exactly. If you haven't, if you guys haven't done exception protocol, please do it. It's literally free shit, and we all love free stuff, don't we? I didn't get much last time. 
I got a... How do I... How do I enter again? Oh, here. I got all this. See, I only scored like a thousand something. So I need to... I need to get... Is this a max? Okay, yeah, I need to get to that then. Is resting sleep here. She is. Give you a ref. Oh, I am the wrong person for gameplay. I don't know. People in chat can probably help you better. <laughs> like, did you see me struggling yesterday with a stage with six, six, seventeen? Yeah, I need to get the this. I was doing... It's interesting because you have like... All these dolls. Hey, last! What is this gonna... Watch this video, gonna help you a ton. Oh, which video? Because, yeah, I'm like, I mean, I probably can do it. I just kind of went into it the other day just to try it out and was like, you know, let's see what, what this is all about. And, and then I failed. And I was like, okay, I'll just finish it later. I never. Links should not be disabled, I think. They should... I'm not sure. I can't remember. I know they are disabled on Twitch, but I don't know if YouTube keeps that option. I don't remember. <laughs> Set up my YouTube so long ago. Oh... I don't see any links. Okay, they're probably disabled. Just... just copy-paste the name of the video. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like, as I said, I get all the words in one run. Accession protocol and advanced level works through Neural Cloud. I'm gonna save that for later. So I can actually do my exception protocol. Hell yeah. There we go, from Ushi Gaming Channel. <laughs> when in doubt what to say as guy- Oh wait. <laughs> no more than one unit per class. Oh my god, it's an Ushi video. You know him? Them? Her? I might try to do it later if there's time, if I don't finish reading too late. I mean, on a stream, I mean, I will do it today either way. And I have to because it ends like today. <laughs> oh. Which is a god when it comes to Neural Cloud? Nice. Finally, I have somewhere to look so I can learn how to play. Also, don't look at my Enigma Black Hole, I just haven't gotten into it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I should advance Black Hole today, and then I never do it. So I'm stuck on 35. Not because like I'm stuck at 35, I just haven't gone and played more. <laughs> You're gonna look, okay, you're stuck on 74. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, so far as I said, I'm not a stock. I just haven't got it. Like I, uh, like I will do like a few levels per day and then like stop. So I haven't gotten to a point in when I am actually a stock. So I'm waiting to see when that will happen. 40 kick my ass. Ooh. Probably 69 gonna give you a pain. We shall see. But for now, we go into the vent. Into the event, not the vent. We're not sassy in here. Anyway, we suffered with 617 today and I didn't do more, so now I need to go and start with a stage. We do 618. Lovely, though you love to see it. That's a cheerio who's venting. I mean, I guess she kinda is. I want the two reward flag search again. Oh yeah. Oh man, when are they putting that again? <laughs> Hatsu's cheery. Okay, retreat. This is a tactical withdrawal. That sounds like my kind of gameplay. Probably next new year, but there's an entire year left before that. How am I supposed to survive until then? Okay. Uh, okay, surface stages aren't too hard, so we should be okay. This is the town. Alright. Uh, let's see, middle, low. Please stand behind the yellow. Pain train is arriving on... Okay, wait, 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 I can do this. Uh, where is it? I mean, this is not quite it, but it will work. Pain train is arriving on platform number two. Please stand behind the yellow line. <laughs> Man, what's up with my voice mod? Okay, there we go. My buttons were not letting up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oxford PCA reader. I probably have like one that is like train announcer. Uh, let's go with all. Kuro, I'm gonna put you there. Just because you're getting kinda kinda whacked whatever you were before. Right, no more waves. Who is... There's some... I think that the floating dude is just bullying Kuro. It's, it's a hater. Alright. Uh, ranged? Kuro needs that healing desperately. Uh, I'm gonna grab that right away. Mm. Let's change to double medic for a bit. to heal the little gremlin. There we go, all good. <laughs> Level 
life steal effect, okay. Enhance. What's this? Okay, sure. Let's fucking go. What's magnet? Oh, money. Get rid of the waves and get rid of everyone else. Sheesh. All right, need definitely need to medic either that or maybe switch. Nanaka with Percy. But we'll see after this. Yeah, I'm finishing today. Okay, no, let's retry that. Okay, uh, there we go, that's better. Okay, no, I need to get. Need to get rid of these dudes first. I see. I see now. And then the big one. The big one can wait until the end. Restore those HP, yes, please. I need that very badly. Okay, so we got this and then the floaty ones. I don't know which ones are the important ones. This one? The snipers. Okay, the snipe yeah, the snipers are the annoying ones. So get rid of the wave first. Oh, actually, yeah, finish killing the sniper first. Now go get the medic. How's the beach episode going? It's doing, it's doing fine. Nothing bad is happening at all. Nobody's dying. Okay, now get rid of this dude. Oddly enough, no one has died yet. Okay. They're waiting on us to lower our guards, for real, for real. You know you can't trust anyone in here. Um, medic. I'm risking it with medic. Oh, ugh, the shield dudes. Yeah, 
Okay, medics are dealt with. I need to get rid of that one, then there we go. I might need to bring a stronger healer with me. Oh, this, this is not working too well for me. Where's Croc? Try this. <laughs> Come on, work. <laughs> I need to get Persic out of there. Yeah, the snipers get her. How can I get rid of those quick? Okay, and those two can handle that. Trading area, yes. Oh, nice. I need that. Mm, sniper. Okay. I need healing so badly. You do not understand. <laughs> Let's get Percy out of there. Get a gonna get a ult. Uh, destroy the sniper, man. Okay, with the sniper done, shouldn't be too bad. Man, the snipers get really annoying.
Uh, I'm noticing Banksy, so... Restore! Sheesh! <laughs> now watch me perish! Get the sniper hat too, please. Okay, now get the medic. Now get this dude. Get the waves, get the sniper. Ah, uh, where's Hatsu? Oh, I already have that overclock on. I think I just need more damage overall. Yeah, let's try with flexible strategy. See if I can keep them alive. Which I doubt. But oh boy, will I try? Okay, yeah, no, I need it. I'm gonna need support to keep going. Unfortunately. I should be okay, I think. A stronger Kuro, maybe, or a stronger Hatsu, or a stronger healer, I'm not sure. Yeah, Persic has Scalar upgraded. Everyone is at least at level seven. I've been, I've been, I've been maxing a few, but I haven't, I haven't gotten to all of them. But they're level. Yeah, I need to borrow someone. I'm not sure who though. Do I need more healing or do I need more DPS? DPS is always the answer. You know what? You're so right. Uh, okay. Do I want a Hatsu or a Kuro? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> melt them before they melt you. Kuro? We go with a Kuro. We replace my Kuro with this Kuro. They can't hurt us if they're already there, so true. And uh, we go double healer because I can't, I don't heal enough with only one. Alright. Now things should look better. Mm. 
Get that, and where's the sniper dude up there? Get the sniper. Okay. The healing is not as rewarding as the hurting. <laughs> You think ATF will be after Kurofu with real? Wait, what's ATF? Get rid of the waves and there's no sniper dude, but uh, this one up here, I don't like him. Okay. The feds for the US. <laughs> I don't know, will they be after Kuro? So I wanna grab that one right away. And that. Now yeah, get the sniper. Now get the other sniper. And easy. Alright. What does our decreed increase? Or silence. Okay. Warrior. Uh, ba -ba -ba. This guy is sniper medic. Okay. Alright. The FCC might be what's the FCC? What are all these ac acronyms you guys are using? Or if you bleed. Okay. Uh, sniper. Also the feds? How many feds do you guys have? Where's the sniper, dude? Is he dead already? American alphabet soup. <laughs> Federal Communications Commission, the guys that regulated media. Huh. The one that gets mad at rappers for swearing, as noted by Eminem. Oh, then I, I guess they would probably be mad at Kuro. Then again, Kuro is based in Tokyo, so do they have any say on that? Like, Cyber Media is a Tokyo-based company. Hatsu, kill the sniper. What are we all thinking of Eminem? <laughs> Apparently you guys were. Uh, a stun? Okay, we take that. Uh, oh, e mm. Okay, let's go for it. Medic, medic. Ah! Ah! 
Too slow. Okay, I need to do this slowly. Everything was happening too fast. Alright. Okay, that's nice. And now you just get that guy. Yeah, the spec has Trojan. Yeah, I need to remember that. Yes, reflect. We love to see it. Okay. Um, oh yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so we have the snipers. Uh, these guys. I don't know, I'm not sure how annoying the medic is aside from like healing. There's these two dudes up there. Come on! Target the dude! I'm telling you to target the dude, please! I ask one thing of you! Okay, now finish killing this one. Please, for the love of God. I don't need to get rid of the medic too, but first this dude. Okay, so... I see. I see, I see. Uh, okay. Okay, so kill this dude first. All right, now go get this one here. Come on, get rid of him, he's almost dead. And now the other one. Alright. Oh, there was a sniper. <laughs> I completely forgot. Sheesh. Doing pretty badly. If I do say so myself. Oh god. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. Okay, this one's are not so bad. Oh, I forgot about this dude. 
Just 10 more combat stages. <laughs> oh, energy, let's fucking go. Oh. Okay, specialist. What does this one do? Uh, also, wait. <laughs> what did you mean out of the Fab Trojan? Oh, I hate this. Okay, but I... I will say the big one is probably... Okay. Yo, 3000 and section protocol? You're close. You're close. Oh fuck, why do they throw intermediate at me? Okay, uh, these three dudes here, oh, and the specialist down there. Uh, where's the specialist? Uh, get rid of the medic. And now, get rid of the sniper. Okay, we're good. That is good, that is good. Kuro, you are dying. You can't die. You are not allowed. Uh. Okay. Mm, all right. Okay. I'm sweating. Many those guards take less long range damage. Mm. All right, rapid firing. Uh, guard. Sniper up there. And a medic there and a s this the cositus uh, where are you okay there we go okay it's fine now we're good We're all f we're actually full health. Will you look at that? <laughs> I don't know what I got, but hopefully it was something useful. All right. Specialist, the medic, the sniper, they're all annoying. I hate this.
up. Okay, actually go for the medic first. Now go for this dude. Hit him with the ult. I still need to get rid of the sniper because it's killing all my units. Alright. Uh, I hate this. Okay, get him. Get his ass, get his ass, get his ass. Get his ass, get his ass, get his ass. Ah, oh, fuck. Do this. Okay, we're almost there. Alright, there we go. It's fine, Persiga, stand up. No, I can't. There's no way I can do the last one. This is getting painful, more painful and painful with each stage. But okay, we did it. We're on 618. Will we be able to get through all in hard mode? I don't know, do it for croc. Anyway, let's see. Now we read. Puppet. Suspended upon strings. Once will usurped. 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 I don't know. Words. Ecological observation post. Copley sector. Dark purple ripples spread out from the coast, and it seems like they'll cover the entire ocean soon. The countless and tropics become a tide that follows the fleeing group down their path like a tsunami. <laughs> Man, now today I can't really scream. Is my sister awake yet? Let me check Discord. I don't think she's awake yet. Got that. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, just imagine soul screaming. Soul lashes out at the rusty door with a kick, which flies open with a mighty crash. It's safe here, get in! 
Got it. They enter the structure once the last of them is inside, so it immediately shuts the door again. Just as the log slides home, the entropics crash into it, making a dull noise that grates on the ears. This won't be enough. Let me try. Versicaria places her hands on the door and opens flow out from them, enveloping their entire room and isolating them from the sound of entropics banging against it. That ought to hold for a while. Where did you stock up on all that operant? I had Miss Lacey transfer it to me earlier precisely for emergencies like this. So that's why you asked me for that operant earlier, Percy? You're amazing, Percy Caria. What is this place? After ensuring that they're safe for the time being, the three of them can finally spare the energy to look around the inside of the building. This is probably the ecological observation post that Ranum was talking about. I did a quick check. There's only one standard entrance here, which was the one Soli just blocked up, so we should be safe for a while as long as we can hold the door. Phew, we can take a break now. I really don't want to touch those slippery and slimy low order entropics again. I thought you shouldn't be touching them. Like, either way. Communications were restored for a moment just now. We need to reestablish contact with the professor ASAP. Up. Hey? A noise suddenly comes from behind the group. Just as they were relaxing, their hearts leap back into their throats. Did you hear that, Persicaria? I did. There seems to be some kind of movement from over there. But, 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 but nothing's there, right? It came from underground. Don't tell me those monsters can borrow underground too. Relax, Sully, I can go check it out. I, I, I'm a fighter, I should go. G -g 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 Ghost? Sully draws her blades and carefully approaches the source of the sound. Behind her, Persicaria and the lazy hold their breath, all their attention focused on her destination. There is a clack, then a whole sonal appears on the ground. Wow! Searing lion! Relax, soul, it's us. It's la eh? The familiar voice makes soul drop her blades. That voice! We're back! What an entrance, am I right? A pair of figures emerge from an underground tunnel, their hands raised. Anan, Professor? What are you? It's a long story. When do you start by putting your sword sound? Er, uh, right, right. Man, you scared the crap out of us, Prof. You're both right. Oh, thank goodness you're right. I told you, right? Trust me. Also, you stole the words right out, my, right out of my mouth. Seeing you all safe and sound is also a big relief for me. <laughs> it's a fox, get him so... No. Thank you, Persicarian soul. And this is... I'm the lazy. You, you must be the professor, the leader of the oasis, the head of the excess, and friend to all dolls. Yeah, that's me, I guess. I've always wanted to meet you since, since, since uh, I bit my tongue. Um, are you the one who saved us from the ocean? Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you remember me, Professor. Persicaria, she is... She's a simp. Do you really not know her? I don't? Really? Why are you smiling like that? Like that? I'm scared. Why do you seem so happy by the fact that I don't know her from before? Persicaria, do you have anything to say? Really? 
Ahem. Alright, now isn't the time to delve, to delve too deeply into this. So, let's exchange. Persicaria's voice suddenly grows hesitant halfway through her sentence. She glances at the lazy and I immediately realize the source of her concerns. Miss Lacey. The lazy pauses for a moment, her gaze shifting from me to Persicaria and back again before breaking into her usual warm smile. Ah, why don't I go take a look at the movements of the tropics from the observation platform up above? Up above? Thank you. Although I'd like to stay with the professor. Well, you can leave it to me. The lazy takes one last lingering look at me before running over to the staircase, her tail switching from side to side behind her. Frankly speaking, someone as gregarious as here is pretty hard to handle. Professor, are you getting carried away? Are you getting so swollen headed that you've forgotten what we came here to do? Ahem. Well, she's not here anymore, so we can relax and compare notes. Isn't that, isn't that right, Persicaria? I'll start by explaining how we got here. Retelling time. Several minutes ago, in the administrator's underground room. What happened to Persicaria and the others? They're fighting and couldn't continue the call. Fortunately, this contact seems to have helped them out. Before Antonina can finish, a powerful tremor hits us from the side. The lights above go out, and the administrator's room begins, sh begins shaking violently. The bedrock above us is collapsing. We need to get out of here ASAP. Don't open the door. There's nothing but entropics out there. But we've got no choice other than forcing our way through, unless you've got a better idea. Use the method you just used to discover this room and scan our surroundings. Hurry! Antonina looks at me in surprise, then quickly realizes what I'm getting at. Initiating analysis mode. How long will this take? This room isn't going to last much longer. A crude scan like this isn't going to be very efficient. All we can do is test our luck. The green scan lies sweep over every corner of the room. The shaking of the room indicates that we have little time left. No good. I scanned everything, but I can't find anything. There's no way the administrator will write a tsunami down here all the time. There's got to be a secret passage in here somewhere. True. I know what you mean, but I need a specific set of criteria to work with. Is there anything we missed out? Anything we passed over? The screen in the room casts a blue light, which illuminates Antonina's face. That's it! This is the screen! Antonina quickly plugs her terminal into the screen, and the stream of alphanumeric characters which fill it show the progress of her hacking. Looks like your bet paid off. I'm counting on you for the rest. Piece of cake. Antonina's hands fly over her terminal's keyboard and the cracking proceeds steadily. Literally Matrix. <laughs> Huge cracks appear on the room ceiling, and the lights dangling from it plummet. How much longer? Almost... I've done it! As Antonina hits the final key, the cracking process is complete. She grabs my yarn and practically throws me into the passage that reveals itself. Behind us, the barrier slowly closes up, and through the closing aperture we see that drone which documented all manner of secrets and suffering being buried forever. Looks like we made it up looks like we made it out of there by the skin of our teeth. Guess my luck isn't so rotten that I had to die with you. Wow. Antonina gathers herself and hesitates for a while before questioning me with a scowl. How did you know the passage was behind that screen? Well, considering all other operant driven machinery was shut down under such extreme circumstances, the only reason why that screen was still functioning would be because it was an emergency exit. Fine, you got me this time. Hurry on up. Displacement collapsed too. And that's our happy story. And that's pretty much what we went through underground. I see! I've got to hand it to you, Prof. 
He's not happy about it. What about you guys? And what about that administrator you mentioned earlier? Oh yeah, her. She's here. Oh, is, oh she's still grabbing her around? Bill bends down and grabs something from under the table. She slings it over her shoulder and stands back up. Oh, she is. He's still dragging her around. Hello. The blue-haired administrator is now tied securely to a stick. With her vacant eyes and the way Sol is carrying her, she looks like a fish waiting to be roasted on a spit. Potato admin. Yeah, for real. Uh... Mm -hmm. We were worried she tried something funny again, so we brought her here like this. Handy, right? But she looks... She's not hurt, is she? She looks like she's passed out. Ah, uh, she's fine. I told you, didn't I? That's just how she is. Do for yourself. Poke? Mm. Poke, poke, poke. Mm. That tickles. <laughs> I kind of want to poke her too. <laughs> That'll do, Sol. Quit messing around. Put her down and let me run a diagnostic. Please do not poke the waifu. I will poke the waifu. A diagnostic? Yes, something seems off about her mental state. And combined with the log we found on the ground, I have a hunch about it. Sol lays the run flat on the ground. And Torina immediately plugs into her neural cloud system and starts checking her codes. I've got it. Antonina's expression grows more and more severe. What did you find? You all... Still remember what happened in the Rossum sector, right? How could I forget? About Turing and Hannah. Yeah, back then, Hannah once mentioned a special program to me while we were talking about how to defeat Faith. Namely, the rewrite program. Oh, is this coming back again? Do you guys remember? Why didn't you let me go through with it? It was the best plan that I could come up with. If the plan worked, Fate's cognition will, will have been rewritten and the Sanctifiers wouldn't harass Rossum anymore. And in the future, you could make a T1643, a T1644, a T1645, a T1646. You could make as many of them as you wanted and the Sanctifiers wouldn't stop you. But then, I wouldn't be able to make another T1642, Hannah. Remember those happy memories in Rossum? Oh yeah, they didn't mention T1641. Damn. <laughs> and that's quitter talk touring. <laughs> The rewrite program. That was the one Turing wanted to use on Faith. If an agent is implanted with it, their neural cloud will be taken over and they'll have no choice but to obey the program's directives. Simply put, it will be like altering an agent's base commands. What? And right now, someone has installed such a program into the administrator's neural cloud. Oh, so she's just not like that. Just because, I say. She's not, she's not just a potato. So how is she really? <laughs> Upon hearing this, Terano, who has been content to passively accept her examination so far, suddenly jerks her head up. She called the potato, she's not evil? I mean, true. Wait, look at that reaction. Don't tell me you didn't know about this. I mean, if someone rewrites your neural cloud, it makes sense that they will do it against your will. In my opinion. Torano seems to be trying to say something, but at the end she lowers her head. She's not a shooting? I mean, she could still be one, but maybe she just doesn't make weird experiments with entropics. As a hobby, you know? I can't disobey my commands. 
You won't be able to get anything out of her soul. She's under the restrictions of the rewrite program. So she's probably not allowed to reveal even the most tangentially related information. Hola! So she's not doing all this out of her own will? I'm not sure if she's still capable of making independent decisions, but in any case, she can disobey the directives from the rewrite program. So the research she was talking about was no longer true ecological research. This place was hijacked a long time ago and turned into a spawning ground for the tropics. What? By who? No wonder I didn't see anything related to ecological research along the way here. So looks at Tarano with some newfound sympathy. You did try to set us up, but if you couldn't help yourself... Can you do the right program, Antonina? Oh, William, it's always William. Just kidding, haha, <laughs> unless. I could do that, but her neural code is practically, practically hollowed out. Right now, the rewrite program is the only thing that's driving her actions. If I remove it, she'll lose that last scrap of consciousness and become a true empty vessel. To an alien, that's a fate no different from death. So you're saying she's pretty much a zombie at this point? But, Prof, could you please not make such a scary comparison? You could say that. Frankly speaking, I'm quite shocked to think this program, this program could be so refined. Even a genius like Hannah couldn't alter the program so easily. Just activating the program will be enough to suck an aging drive of operant, let alone the follow-up adjustments that will need to be made. That means the person controlling the administrator must be able to drown a massive amount of operant, the likes of which normal agents will hardly be able to imagine. Yo estaré escuchando como podcast. Bueno, gracias. Muchas gracias. Antonina glances at me with an unreadable expression on her face, then shakes her head vigorously. What? 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 What was that? What? What? What was that look for? What is master makeup? Dun dun dun. At this point. Anything can go. In any case, we can at least be sure that someone else was manipulating the administrator to rear these entropics on the ground. Granted, it might not be much help to us right now. She's suspecting us? Why will why will you suss me? I can barely I don't know. Programming. Really? I for one think this is, so, this is a sorely needed break for us. You see that the only thing that drives her now is that program, right? In that case... I signal to Antonina to end the analysis, then walk up to Terranum and lightly pat her face. Are you alright? You look very weak. Foreign agents cannot stay here. Obey my commands, or else... Or else you'll be forced to take stern measures, right? It must have been hard for you, being controlled like this all the time. All this time. Even Sol could be the mastermind. <laughs> Maybe not, but still. <laughs> I don't know if Sol will have the brain for that, unless she's just pretending. <laughs> Man. The trust issues Mika gives us. Leave now. I may have a solution. Right now, what is your highest priority directive? Chasing us away or protecting yourself? It's neither, isn't it? Right now, your top priority should be to subdue your research subjects and lock them back on the ground, is that it? Correct. In that case, we should be able to cooperate for the time being. We have the same objective, we both want to neutralize the tropics. Tell us about this sector, in exchange we can help you. Otherwise, all you'll be able to do is watch as the tropics destroy this sector. Hmm. Correct. I approve. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can't believe we actually got her to cooperate. As expected, Taran cannot possibly disobey her commands, so her cooperation is hardly surprising. However, I didn't expect her to make a face like that. Her blue eyes, which have been clouded all this time, are now filled with determination 
a resort that she's even willing to die for. What? What do you mean she's willing to die for? Why? Why would she be willing to die for it? Why, why will you say that? You can't just say that. Oh god. Similarities, a feeling of deja vu. Mere coincidence or was this planned? Ah, uh, there's the flag. Alright. Let's go with a support right away. Uh, a lamb? Or maybe I will go with a Hatsu now. Daytime all the way from here, then back tonight a bit, a bit after. Yeah, I saw. Now we know who's dying. Okay, let's let's pray. My coffee is cold. All right, what's here? Um, sniper dudes. Oh, there's a medic. All right. This should still be pretty, pretty doable. So it's mine, but it's iced. I mean, I don't mind, to be honest. All these snipers have their crit damage increased. Hola! Okay, we're doing fine. Using support where we're doing it. That's what matters in the end. Many units have their crit rate increase and decrease the physical defense. Oh, mmm. Or mmm, bloodthirsty deal. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Oh god, this... This fucker, and this fucker. Okay. Uh, who should I get rid of first? This fucker or this fucker? That is the real question here. Okay, I got rid of both. Thank you, Hatsu. Support. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Medic. Okay, this one shouldn't be too bad. Look at that hat to use sweep. <gasps> Allergy damage! Yes! 
Okay, here again. Uh, the sword dude and the, the spec down there. Alright. And now... Get rid of this dude. And we're good. We're Gucci. Uh, allergy, 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 allergy. Oh god, there's more annoying ones here. Actually, all of them are annoying. Fuck. <laughs> Where's Nanyanyaka? Okay. Oh. Oh, reflect. Yes, we want that. Uh. Okay. Sheesh. This one will be annoying too. First, uh, get rid of this dude that you're attacking right now. And uh, now, get this one, yeah? Okay, you're right there. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> Nanaka and Kuro just had that, that dude cornered there <laughs> for the entire battle. <laughs> what were they doing? Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, I am losing support, but still, not bad. Not bad. Now we go up to part 15, yeah. We'll, we only move down to 18, I believe. Yes. So we, we literally, okay, we literally reach the end and then we go down. And then it's all down and then they're all together. Okay, not bad. Let's go. Countermeasures at two Two-pronged approach. Is my sister awake? No. <laughs> Sorry, I keep checking to see if she's awake to see how much I can raise my voice. So she's very hard to wake up, but still. But it might be a while. She stayed up until 4 a.m. playing Mass Effect. Ooh, what's this? Tranum leads us to a certain room in the Ecological Observation Post that is filled with displays. Her fingers fly over the keyboard, and these monitors all light up at once. It's on. Before them is an overview of the co-play sector, scarred and ravaged by the tropics. I see your sister is enjoying the weekend to the fullest, for real. She hasn't had free weekends for a while, so... So there's another surveillance room here. The one below is for monitoring the tropics. The one up here is for observing. Tranum suddenly freezes up. It seems she can't complete her sentence. This must have been for monitoring ecological experiments in the past. After a right program was installed, the right program was installed in her. These camera heads ended up becoming decorative pieces. It's quite ironic that they could be put to use in this fashion now. Ugh, oh, there are way too many of these monsters. They're soft and gooey and... Ugh. No, Sol, you need to hang in. <gasps> you guys go take a look, Prof. I'll step outside for a bit. Professor, do you see anything? 
Yeah, there seems to be some kind of order to the way these entropics are deployed. Part of them are positioned around the fissure they emerge from, as though they're trying to forcibly enlarge the gap in the barrier. However, more of them are converging on the same location after making landfall. That's where we just came from. The admin center. So was cool there for a bit, but now that everyone is here to see it, it goes away. True. Now it's just like, okay, the prop is here, everything is under control, it's time for me to, to be a dork. What's inside the admin center? The barrier control terminal. If the control terminal is destroyed, the barrier will disintegrate. I see, so that's their aim. Without the barrier, Demiurge will be completely free. If that happens, the entire sector... No, this disaster might end up spreading beyond the sector. Beyond the sector. Wait a minute. Why isn't the Sanctify alert system for this sector working? The door is suddenly totally flung open, interp interrupting my thoughts. Professor, we have a problem. The Entropics are flooding the entrance to the observation post. We need to move quickly or we'll be trapped here. So soon? The Entropics were also sluggish when we were fighting them underground. As we speak, we can already hear the sounds of the Entropics throwing themselves against the door to the observation post. What about the roof? Didn't Entropics climb up onto it? Not for the time being, they don't seem to be particularly good climbers. Everyone, take shelter on the roof. Hell yeah, let's be trapped on the roof. Next time, call me directly if this sort of emergency comes up. Huh? But, but I don't have your comm code, professor. We'll talk about that later. Everyone, move. Looking down from the roof, we can see countless entropics gathered near the entrance to the observation post. The ground, around it has, the ground around it has already turned purplish black due to entropic corruption. Hey, Calvin! Hello! <laughs> Sliding into those DMs. <laughs> Professor, I don't have your number. Ooh. <laughs> Even the ground's been contaminated. Looks like we won't be able to leave through the main door. I didn't think they'd gather so fast. Damn it, I should have let everyone s away sooner. Moderador de bajo presupuesto, let's fucking go. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. According to my analysis, the combat efficiency of these entropics has risen by at least 30%. Here, I help you support. Oh, thank you! I see you streaming often. But it's always when, like, I'm sleeping. I always see the notification when I wake up. These are clearly the same entropics we fought underground. So why have they suddenly gotten stronger after coming to the surface world? I have a theory. Earlier, when we were, when we were under... I always would get like all my blah blah when, it, when, when there's like, when we were. Earlier, when we were underground, we couldn't contact Persicaria and her, and her group. But once we came up here, the signal was restored. Daily randomly. Yeah, 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 I've seen you. Like very often. Doing dailies and stuff. That was because of the undersea barrier disguised as bedrock, which flew communications between the surface and the underground. Why would you need a signal jamming for an underground environment used to experiment on entropics? Unless... Unless the signal jamming was just a byproduct of the barrier's true effect, which is targeted at the entropics. Antonina opens her terminal in a daze and brings up several pieces of data on the screen. You're right. The entropic electronic signals are distinctly stronger up here compared to down below. The entropics maintain their master slave relationship in a tree like network of electronic signals. So, without signals from their superiors, the lower order entropics' ability to act is greatly reduced. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck to you too. Wait a minute. What network? What tree? And the true purpose of the barrier is to weaken electronic signals to impede inter-entropic communication and thus keep the entropics in check. Did we get it, Taranum? Evaluation priorities. The present entropics takes priority by maintaining research secrecy. Minimal information can be divulged. 
Your speculation is correct. The barrier signal interference is used to suppress and contain entropics. However, damage to sector facilities means there are insufficient operands. The virus efficiency has been greatly reduced. With what kind of tree? Truly, we need maple here to define the data tree structure. Yeah, where's maple? Probably sleeping. Or probably has her cat on top of her. Hmm, morally ambiguous research. Why does that sound very familiar, right? William? See, it all leads back to William. How come William it's manages to be like the main suspect of this game? He's not even in here. <laughs> but that also means that once we repair the barrier control terminal in the admin center and reassign the sector's operands with the appropriate permissions, we'll be able to improve the barrier's effectiveness. Is that right? Sleeping seems unlikely. I mean, maybe. You never know with Maple. Assuming you can do it. What do you mean, you? We need your permission to reallocate the sector's operand. You need to pull your weight, too. It is theoretically possible. It is worth a try. Right. I didn't really understand any of that, but basically all we need to do is break out of here, go to the admin center and power up the barrier. Then we can meet the tropics, right? Easy. Easy peasy. Now we've got a specific objective. Well done, Anna and Prof. The world is just full of scientists with questionable morals and an abundance of resources. It's so true. <laughs> Time is of the essence, then. More and more entropics are gathering near the observation post, and the liquid entropy contaminated the ground will deal lingering damage to us. We need to think of a way to quickly break out of this encirclement. I can help you with the tsunamis from before. Oh, turns out you can take the initiative after all. But I don't have enough operands right now, so it will only last 30 seconds at the most. 30 seconds? Sol draws her blade. The flames on its surface blaze into life. More than enough for us, right, Prof? Of course, everything is within my grasp. <laughs> I knew it. Everything's fine as long as the professor's around. So, out of everyone here, you're the only one who can clear a path for us. We'll use the tsunami to create an opening, then we'll quickly fight our way out before the liquid entropy spreads again. Sounds cool. Are you being serious, professor? I suppose we'll just have to give it a try. At least before more entropics pour in. No problem, Nana. N Nana? <laughs> we'll be fine with the professor calling the shots. N Nana? <laughs> Del is right. Trust us, Anna. Now she got a new nickname. Everyone ready? Request approved. Tsunami coming in 10 seconds. Sola stands on the edge of the roof, tightening her grip with her twin blades. The others stack up behind her, ready to fight at any time. Nine, eight, seven. Sol looks down at the densely packed sea of entropics beneath her. I see her blink out of the corner of my eye, but in the end she overcomes the urge to squeeze her eyes shut and looks straight at the enemy for her. Three, two, one, commencing. <laughs> whoa, whoa. In an instant, a surge of seawater crashes into the defenseless entropics and knocks them under, off their feet. The nuclear entropy on the ground is also swept away, bravely forming a patch of safe ground. Now! With a loud cry, Sol leaps from the roof. Her blades throw up a startling shower of sparks as they strike the ground. Still disoriented from the tsunami, the entropics are sent flying out, of a, flying out all around her, clearing out a large space. Good, let's go! Antonella uses operand to form a shock absorbing barrier and we jump down one after the other. Sol sweeps her blades in a circle and slaughters all the entropics blocking her way. Persigaria supports Sol with operands. The lazy stair projects a dazzling radiance that shields us. 
Things are going well. Now let's continue to the Highlands. The Tropics haven't taken that area yet. It's almost time. Since the first tsunami swept away the Tropics and the Entropy, Terran has been controlling the direction of the waves to strand the reinforcements on the beach. However, our 30 seconds is almost up, and once the tide goes out, more Entropics will rush up. Sun only gets buffed during cutscenes? She does. So sad. I can see a stretch of land that hasn't been contaminated by the entropy. That'll do. We'll splash through the tide water as we follow Sol. The safe region is just in front of us, but Tyrannum looks visibly weakened and almost falls behind several times. Sol bisects the last entropic before her and shields her blades with a spin before grabbing Tyrannum, who's at the tail end of the group. You... Don't you drop out on me. Tarno takes Sol's hand wordlessly, and we finally meet up before the tide completely recedes. They're holding hands. <laughs> Ooh, hand holding. Phew, I didn't expect that to actually work. And you were so confident just now. No good will come no good will come of being a blade before a battle, so of course I had to put on some bravado. So, are we headed to the admin center next? I'll clear a path. Wait, there will be even more entropics at the admin center than over here. We need to prepare ourselves for properly. We had a tsunami to help out earlier, but now... Go to the weather emulation station. The weather emulation station? Sounds a lot like the weather simulator we have in the oasis. Correct. You can use the weather simulator to call down an unlimited number of natural disasters. Let's go! Natural disasters! Oh, unlimited disasters. Sounds strong. Where is it? Aren't the tropics besieging it? It's at... Okay, coordinates. Alpha 4632, beta or, or B6591, 2435. Like in SimCity. <laughs> Who else used to build cities in SimCity and then just watch them be destroyed by an unlimited amount of disasters? <laughs> I'm not the only one, right? I know it was a very common hobby. According to the CCTV feed earlier, there doesn't seem to be many tropics there. A city close to me was pre-made in SimCity? What? From the creators of unlimited war crimes, unlimited natural disasters. <laughs> there was a reason they put them all in the game. It's true, it's true. Let me go, Professor. I know how to operate the weather simulator. I can support you with natural disasters. So one group goes to the admin center to fight, while the other group goes to operate the weather simulator. Cleaning up is a good idea. But it's too dangerous for you to go alone. At least take Sol. Sol is the best fighter among us, so she, sh so she should go to the admin center with you. I'll be fine. The Entropics aren't targeting the weather simulator yet, so you don't, so you don't need to worry about me. Mr. Lacey, please go to the weather simul emulation sim blah, blah, blah. Mr. Lacey, please go to the weather simulation station with Persicaria. Professor. I give Persicaria a look. Thank you for your trust. Well, I'm not too happy about having to leave you so soon. This is part of your plan. There must be some logic to it, Professor. I promise I'll finish the mission. You guys need to take care too, Professor. So, you'll be going to the admin center with me. Antonina Teranum too. I need you to operate the control terminal. Leave it to me! Still, is this really going to be alright? If Demiurge breaks the barrier while we're split up. Relax. Even if it comes to that, I have another card to play. Go, Persicaria. Contact us if anything happens. Ah, Professor, a moment, please. I, er, uh, about keeping in touch. Can I have your communication code too? That way I can contact you anytime. I mean, for when we split up afterwards. Hmm? Sure, no problem. 
Thank you. I'll treasure it. <laughs> oh no, she got my phone number. <laughs> Is that cardboard of career? <laughs> the lazy quickly notes down my com code and runs back to Persicaria's side with a big grin on her face, like she's holding some kind of treasure. Persicaria eyes the two of us with an ambiguous expression. I hope they'll be able to complete the mission properly. Then we'd better get going ourselves, prof. I'm gonna send you memes at 4 a.m. in the morning. Oh no. Right, how are things up ahead? We've been this way before. It's all uphill, so the tropics will take some time to climb up from the beach. Still, a lot of entropics are up here already, so there, are, there will probably be a top battle ahead of us. You simply have to hack and slash your way through them, through them like what you just did. For Sikari and the lazy will be backing up, will be backing us up. Just keep clearing a path up ahead, and Trina and I, and I will protect Taranum. Got it. After quickly arranging our formation, we head out onto the light purple mountain path with great determination. Woo, let's go! 6.20 Oh god Oh god Encircle and hunt Layers upon layers going on into infinity Okay, it's two layers Let's once again Bring a support Do I bring a support Hubble or a support Aki? A true gamer dinner, instant noodles, let's go. Sometimes you just have you just want cheap instant noodles. It's such is life. Yeah, I think that so far, as long as I have like one strong sniper or warrior, I can manage. Or should I try to do it on my own? Should I try doing it on my own? <laughs> it should be fine if we go by the power. Do it? Right. Because call it a scouting? True. What could go wrong, right? What could possibly go wrong? Warrior. Nothing ever goes wrong in mecha games. Oh god, there's a summoner. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. All right. Now we go for these dudes. Okay, so far so good. Sorry, got something in my eye. Uh... Okay.
Mega games are all about love and hopes, so nothing can go, can go wrong. Can go wrong. Very true. Oh fuck, straight to an advanced one, really? Okay, nothing so bad as soon as long as I get rid of the summoning thingy quick. Come on, get rid of it. Alright, now target this dude. Alright, nice. Now now you just go wild. Truly fine. Healing, we love to see it. Uh, increase. Okay, yes. When the first enemy is destroyed, reset all all adult skill cooldowns. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm. do I want an anomaly area or something for guards? Ah, crap, it's a battle. Alright. Now... Oh no, it's it's fine. Oh no, wait, no, it's there's a sword dude. Get get rid of him. Sword dude hate. Upgrade a function card. I have so little functions. I'm scared. Okay. Everything's looking nice. Is there any annoying dudes? No. I lost my mouse. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Okay, creating area, uh, I mean, sure, let's see what you have to offer. Mm. I need to remember, I also have gains. Ult. Okay, this is gonna be hard. There's two summoner thingies. Get rid of the summoning. Okay. Now, is there any annoying enemies? Not really. Okay, that hasn't been so bad so far. 
But we still need to go to the second layer. Ooh, bloodthirst. So far it's going good though, I'm just worried I don't have too many good functions. Um, okay, let's go with all. Maybe it'll give me something useful. Come on, kill him. Okay, sure. Uh, sniper, sniper, sniper. Get rid of this dude. Okay. Now we go Chi. This is going too well. I am scared. I am um, fear. Get rid of the snipers, yeah, yeah, okay. They're all doing good, they're all doing excellent. Fresnel, okay. <gasps> I love you that much! Specialist, a specialist. Bleed. Oh, allergy. Uh, let's go here. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, now let's go with. Uh, actually, let's go here. Oh, God, why? I hate when it throws me into battle, I am traumatized. Alright, now target. There's a sword dude, I saw him. Okay, now he's dead.
Okay. So far, very good. Uh, sword door. Oh, there's another sword dude down here. Okay. Puede ser un pequeño resumen hasta dónde estás ahora. Uy, es que voy en el, este es el capítulo 6. Pero básicamente, no sé, o sea, ¿qué tanto sabes de Neural Cloud? El juego en sí. Uh, yes, upgrade allergy. We love allergy damage. Upgrade. I can't believe I didn't, I wasn't aware of like allergy. And now I use, I love it. Okay, the last one. The moment of truth. Close allergies. Wow! That's not what I meant. Es que la historia es interesante. Básicamente, nuestro personaje principal, con el que tuvimos desde el punto de vista todo, lo, o sea, él es un humano, pero lo subieron a un... a un servidor virtual, donde está con eso a todos estos personajes. Todos estos son, son dolls o, o agents. Los agents son como... personalidades, así como inteligencia artificial, más que nada. Estoy tratando de hacer un... Te lo resumo bien, te lo resumo. Eh... Bueno, básicamente eso. <risa> y ya después, estando adentro, eh, nuestra idea es tratar de, de descubrir qué fue lo que pasó. Porque esto es un... Todo es parte de un proyecto que fue así como un proyecto que, que ya fue, que ya terminó, pero que ahora se enteraron que pasaron cosas raras. Entonces está tratando de investigar qué fue lo que pasó exactamente. Y entre eso están pasando muchas cosas. Ahora estamos tratando de perseguir. Salió un virus de la nada. Que son estos bichos morados. Y bueno, estamos tratando de ver qué onda con esto. <risa> oh, yeah, true. Didn't even need the action functions. Now, can I do the very hard one? Es como. Lo que pasa es que es difícil de explicar si no tienes como una, una base. Más o menos. Y si me pongo a explicar como todo bien, voy a estar mucho rato. Let's use the laser now, since I have it. Like, you know, might as well. Love the laser. Yes, we love the lasers. Direct into the four hour PowerPoint presentation, they're going to be up to date. <laughs> Lo que pasa es que igual este juego es un spin-off de otro juego. Entonces como. Si bien no es necesario saber del otro juego, es bueno tener como una idea más o menos del otro juego. Entonces tendría que explicar dos juegos. <laughs> Uh, 
I've got supplies. Let's throw my money to Rico. <laughs> Acute. Okay. Now we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Let's see. Now part. Yeah. Oh yeah, right, it's up until the end. I mean, not until the end, but like before the end. Okay. And trust! Cute fox being cute. Yes! She's adorable, I love her. Oh wait, I'm not done with my coffee, fuck. Please take my place, finish what I could not. What? I don't like how that sounds. Where the fuck are we? As we draw closer to the admin center, the number of entropics blocking our path grows. Though we've learned the movement patterns of the entropics and don't need to fight so many of them at once, the repeated high-intensity battles are still very draining. What a pain! Sol scoots up the tentacles, reaching for her and carves a path throughout... Carves a path through the purple tide ahead. We're almost there! Everyone, hang in there a little longer. Is that the admin center? The building's exterior is crawling with entropics and it's almost impossible to make out its original appearance. The darkened structure stands silently amidst a sea of entropics and gleams with an ominous violet light. Damn it. This is just too much. Is the very control terminal in there still working? Yes, there is a firewall outside the admin center. They cannot break it for the time being. There are too many tropics at the main entrance. I will take you to the back door. <laughs> oh no, she's coughing now. <laughs> it begins. Ran coughs violently and her body starts to turn transparent. It begins! Don't scare me, bookworm. Don't drop the ball at, at a time like this. Wait a minute, don't tell me. Antorina forces her way into Tyrannus' narrow cloud. You're burning your own operas to fill the firewall? And that tsunami just now. I thought you could reallocate the sector's operands. Why? <laughs> Suppressing the tropics is my top priority. I need to conserve the sector's operands. But you're filling it with your own life force. Here, transfer some operands to you. No good. I can't get around the rewrite program. Tyrannum, give me your hand. Hurry up! I'll carry you. I don't know what your priorities are. But I don't want to see you die here. Okay. It's just up ahead. Is that the back door? Looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. It's a special passage used by researchers to transport simulated life from specimens. Once many agents... Tyrannum trails off. She looks like she's in pain from being hit. Many agents? So there were other agents in this sector besides you? Um, <laughs> yeah, about that, you see. No. Comment. Tyrannum turns away from Sol's gaze. Her movements are very awkward and she almost falls to the ground. Antonina manages to reach out in time to support her. This is bad. It looks like she's having trouble functioning. Let's just get inside the admin center first. Wait, look out for that patch of simulated greenery. A small pack of entropic slip out of the simulated foliage just as Antonina gives her warning. These monsters. Hey, bookworm, are you okay? I'm fine. Put me down. I'm just slowing you down. Are you kidding me? Your little bit of weight is a piece of cake for me. Sol draws her weapons to intercept the enemy and Antonina summons up her opera to strike down the lead twiner. 
But soon, an endless string of entropic ambushers start pouring out of the virtual veget vegetation. We can use the simulated rocks as cover. Let's fall back there first. We set up a fighting position behind the rocks. But instead of pursuing us, the entropics guard the back entrance, as though they're certain we'll try to break into the admin center again. While there aren't as many here as the front door, these numbers are still a huge pain. The entropics here can use tactics. This might be an important point. If I'm not mistaken, they aren't from the same bat as the undersea entropics. Según la Jessie, así se creó el en bolsa. Wow. No me sorprendería, la verdad. You're right. Their different in appearance and their code redundancy is also different. More importantly, they're much better fighters than the undersea entropics. These entropics are very similar to the ones we encounter in the art sector. The art sector? So these are Orel's entropics? So she's been waiting inside the admin center to ambush us all this time. Damn it, why do I get the feeling she anticipates every move we make? Anna, can't you back trace here or something and use these entropics to find where that Odell is? The entropics operate in a top-down tree-like structure. Why have you said that so many times? <laughs> Game, what are you trying to get at here? Because she has made her own animation read the script. <laughs> the entropics operate in a top-down tree-like structure. If Demiurge dies, Ori will probably end up briefly incapacitated without a superior's commands. Unless... No, that's not likely. Inverted tree. We all know what they are implying. <laughs> Is it a reference? Um... Sangby's fairy works on a top-down tree like a structure. <laughs> Without superior's commands, does that mean Odell might return to how she was when we first met her? It might be worth a try. In any case, we'll have plenty of time to find Odell after we take out Demiurge. Sweet! In other words, once we get into the admin center and get the barrier going, everything will be settled, is that it? Hey, Bookworm! Tell me how to get in. I'll sort my way through. You need administrator access to open the back door. In other words, Taranum has to open the back door. It's too difficult for just a few of us to cover her in an ocean of entropics. How long would it take to get to the admin center if there were no entropics around? It'd be hard even without entropics. I need 5 seconds. Or if I'm carrying you then... 10 seconds, tops. And for redundant there are clouds to make Lorum go crazy with the timeline. <laughs> no! We're already... We're already crazy enough. Understood. I'll be counting on you then. What are you planning to do? What? A sudden, violent gust of wind whips past us, and part of the entropics guarding the back door are swept up into the sky. Random tightens her grip on Sol's back and speaks quietly. You have... 10 seconds. Go! Sol, take out the remaining entropics. Anna, support her from behind. We break into a run toward the admin center, practically on instinct. Girls' burning blades sweep away the few remaining entropics. After Tyrannus' access is accepted, the back door slowly begins to open. Everyone, get inside! After ensuring that we are all inside the admin center, Sol bars the door from her position at the rear of the group. At, le at last, those special howls are safely kept out. And we're back here. Hey, Bugworm, wake up! Tranum can no longer support her own body and Sol gently lays her on the ground. Hey, Oxy! You did it. Did you draw on your own operand to activate a weather control command? You aren't ready. Pio, cuidate completo tus sueños. Gracias, igualmente, que te vaya bien. It's fine. 
This is what I want. Wake up! Anna, give her my operant. Love and hope. <laughs> it begins! I told you, her operant comes from the right program. Only the person controlling her is authorized to transfer operants to her. But she kept drawing on herself like this with no operant transfers to make up the shortfall. She can't function on her own anymore, to say nothing of operating the barrier control terminal. Why you... Hey, didn't you want to wipe out Entropic in this sector? Don't go nodding off on me. The sad VGM. Please, everyone, take my permissions. Use my administrator access to operate the control terminal. You're no good. The administrator access is bound to the rewrite program. Then, get rid of it. Do you know what you're saying? If we directly delete the rewrite program, you will become an empty shell. That's fine. Priority 1. Suppress the tropics. Priority 2. Protect the rewrite program. According to my priorities, I shall abandon the rewrite program and transfer administrator access. No, how could we? Rano must squeeze his soul's hand. I've been waiting for this day. So please, grant my wish. But, but you'll disappear. Outside, the tropics are assaulting the main door, which has lost the protection of its firewall. The tropics will be in here any minute now. I understand. I know that I, I know that ideally you'd leave nobody behind, but in reality, in reality, we have to make a choice now, or we'll lose even more. Ideals, they're called ideals because they can't be completely fulfilled. I know that now. She chose to ask you for this favor in the end, so... The entropic attacks is growing first, fiercer. <laughs> the dork is maturing. Ah, yes. The best way to mature, emotional trauma. Soul. <clears throat> oh, what happened to my voice there? Anyway, I understand. Do it, Anna. When Sol has given the word, we finally see a smile on Taranum's face for the first time. You work for 45? Yeah, exactly. Prime example there. If you can, please bring me to the administrator's room. I want to be with those memories. Thank you. The right program deleted. Operational lifespan less than 1%. The cultist sector administrator permissions have been transferred. Without the rewrite program binding her, Taranum also loses the final bit of operant support that was keeping her going. However, just before her eyes close for good, they look neither clouded nor demented. In fact, they are clearer than they have ever been before. For the first time since that day, I've finally been able to get around that order and act according to my own will. Like them, I will return to nothing. The rest is up to you. Thank you, and sorry. Her last words slowly fade away as she ceases to function. Head on over to the control terminal, Anna. You're not coming? I need some time alone. Okay. Antonia nods, then looks down at the administrator access which she has just obtained. She clenches her fist. Then she runs off toward the control room. 
Professor, I want to grant her dying wish and bring her to the administrator's room. Before you die, could you tell us who did it? <laughs> no? Okay, we don't need to know that badly. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone soul gets close to die. Stay away from her. <laughs> See, that's why I'm not leveling her up. Perhaps one day we'll find the mastermind who emptied, or who emptied out her narrow cloud. And when we do, we might be able to bring Taranum back. I know it's practically impossible, but I can't just leave her here. Our <laughs> narrator it was not fine. Let's fulfill her last wish. We pick up Taranum's body and head for the administrator's room. It doesn't seem to have been open in a long time. The walls are covered in pictures. Taranum lies quietly on the bed, as though she was taking a short nap from work. Sol. I'm fine, Professor. Give me my orders. We need to buy Anna time. If we beat Demiurge, everything will be over. Both Copley Sector and the Oasis will be saved. Yeah. If the door has finally reached its limit, Entropic swarm in through the gap. Sol draws her blades and parts the dark ocean with their blazing flames. Ah, don't you love some love and hope in the morning, guys? I mean, it's not morning anymore for me, but still. Don't you love love and hope? Garrison, here with the fan. Together, we resist. Okay, I'm gonna try again on my own before bringing in the supports. Let's see how we do. <laughs> Medic? Allergy? Ooh. Remember, hope is the first step to disappointment. Damn! Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I had to destroy that medic. Okay, fine. Warrior. Mm, oh, a sword dude. We love sword dudes. Where are you? Up there. Okay, we're good now. have the crit rate increased and attack speed increased ali melee units stun their opponents mm. 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 okay uh, I didn't look okay Ah, fuck. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, when medics heal... Function area. Oh, no kill like overkill. Don't we don't risk that battle? Okay, what do we have here? These guys give Trojan? No. Oh yeah, they do give Trojan. Okay. 
So we get rid of the medic and then we get rid of them. Uh, that's it. Nice. Bloodthirst sigil. Okay. Uh, warrior. Okay. 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 Uh, all right. Okay, down he goes. And the other two are whatever. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, warriors have the crit rate increase. Or. Okay, let's go with more bloodthirst sigil. Upgrade? What can we upgrade? Oh god, what can I upgrade? Uh, this one, I guess. Let's grab those three overclocks. Oh god, sword dudes. Oh, there's no summoning though, at least. to use ults and I can't because of the <laughs> waves. <laughs> I tried so hard. But it's fine. We did it. Oh, it was just one layer? One layer? Okay, nice. Did it even matter? <laughs> it actually didn't. <laughs> it actually didn't matter in the end. Because I did it somehow. How come like 6, 17 and 18 gave me so much trouble? And, and now I'm just doing, I'm doing fine. What does this mean? How does this work? Anyway. Strategy, part 17. One move on the board, three in the mind. Place a piece with conviction. Literally playing 5D chess. The Entropic Offensive is weakening. Antonina must have succeeded in raising the battery's efficiency. Let's hold back for now. Okay. Because 619 was CBT and after it's all a cakewalk. <laughs> We return to the control room just in time to see Antonina hit the final key. On the big screen, bar graphs and curves show the barrier's rising efficiency. Thank you, Antonina! In a rare turn of events, Sol addresses Antonina by her actual full name. Now Taranum's sacrifice won't have, be won't have been in vain. Yeah. The barrier's power will double in 60 seconds. So it went just as you planned. Now that the bar is weakening their signals, the Entropics have lost their leadership. At this rate, we might be able to free Ora of her control. What's wrong, Anna? What are you worried about? I'm fine. Let's not talk about it for now. No, let's talk about it. It's probably very important. The plan went very well, but you guys came back earlier than I expected. Is that a bad thing? Try to analyze it. The ultimate goal of those Entropics is to destroy the barrier. They were heading straight for the barrier control terminal. Since we could weather their fire and enhance the barrier, continuing to fight here will not be wise. 
Oh well, let's not worry about this. Since the Tropic Offensive has weakened, let's break out together and think of a way to join up with Percy Carry and the Lazy. Right. No, let's not be hasty. Hmm? It's about time they contacted us. Right on cue, Persicaria sends a comms request. Professor, we've arrived at the weather emulation station. We'll be able to activate it right away. Uh, don't push, Mr. Lacey. Professor, can you hear me? Honestly, Percy, didn't you agree that I'd be the one to... We don't have time for this. Uh, sorry about that, Professor. Did things go well on your end? We will already turn up the power on the undersea barrier, of the undersea barrier. The Entropic's movements will have visible slow down. That's great! We'll prepare the weather support now. Please be careful over there and stay safe. I'll be hanging up now. Oh, Percy, wait! The transmission has ended. Awesome! Things succeeded on Persicaria's side too! Soon, they start hearing the pitter patter of raindrops coming from the outside. Huh? Is it just rain? I thought she'd go for a lightning storm or something. It's very difficult to avoid enduring friendlies when you saw an extreme weather. The lace is stealing her simp arc? Yeah. Also, rainstorms can wash away liquid entropy on the battlefield and weaken the tropics at the same time, so it's a most suitable solution. I see! Sol, I'll leave the tropics around the admin center to you. Got it! The rain intensifies in less than a minute, completely drowning out the house of the tropics. As it pours, Sol enters the battlefield again. Surprise, bitch! The entropic creatures shriek as the liquid entropy coating them is washed away and dispersed by the rainwater. Let's start by clearing out these monsters, and then I'll settle the score with Demiurge. On the other side, in the admin center, our two prong battle plan succeeded, so why are we still staying here? I hope you will give me a convincing explanation, Professor. Something feels off about Entropic's movements? Of course. All we did was strengthen the barrier and the Entropic Offensive immediately weakened. Part of it was because they've lost their commands with their signals being jammed, but they organized and retreat so quickly, it's as though... as though they had, con they had a contingency plan in the store. In that case, why are we staying here? Shouldn't we go verify what these contingency plans are? The Entropics have a contingency plan, so we should have one too. Antonina, are comps in the admin center still working normally? Comes? It has sustained some damage, but it can be fixed in no time. Wait a minute, are you going to... You can remain at the control terminal. I suppose there's no talking you out of it. I'll go, I need to keep an eye on this. Outside the admin center, Sol has cut her way through most of the nearby tropics like a hurricane. As for the remainder... Come back here and fight! Prof Sus? Yeah, I'm just like, what are you planning, Prof? They're moving like grease lighting. Or should I say, muddy lighting? And not messing around. Are you done chopping up the tropics? Yep, it was a good run. It's just like the Prof said. They ran once they realized they couldn't break in. Don't get cocky. Judging by the Entropics trail, they're all flying back to the ocean, right? That's right. I don't even want to think about what the ocean must look like now. Demiurge is still in there. We need to eliminate Demiurge and obtain the Entropic source code so we can learn how to fight the infection. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. Croc is still waiting for us. Still, Anna, you seem to be in a bad mood. Did something happen between you and the professor? <laughs> Her instant silence. It's Antonina. Ah, uh, never mind that. Fine, I'll continue wiping out the strugglers. Come over and meet up with me. I'm actually not used to you being 
so reliable. I mean, we'll have to do our part to save the oasis, no? Everyone bullies soul. Soon, the group has reassembled. <laughs> Oof. A huge purplish black pit lies on the surface of the sea, like the reflection of a dark moon. Countless tentacles are reared away at the edge of the pit, which expands inexorably like a piece of paper that has been lit on fire. The fissure in the sea. You think it's so much bigger than before. It looks like the maw of hell. If Demi were to escape to the surface, what will happen? Without the barrier to suppress her and block her off her signals, it will be much harder to handle than before. And her sapiens is growing way too fast. Sure, we call for emergencies to deal with that barn. <laughs> oh, poor soul. Can't get a break. After all, she quickly, she quickly learned our language while we were on the ground. You don't have to emphasize that. Um, what happened between you guys? Let's discuss the matter at hand. Demiurge has issued a command to the Entropics to change objectives and return to the ocean. They've changed objectives? So you're saying these Entropics were already planning to retreat before their cones were cut off? Is someone strategizing for Demiurge? Like, Orel maybe? That's a possibility. If that's the case, I have the feeling things are going to be even trickier. Don't scratch your head. Your hair is messy enough as it is. Leave it to Hatsuchiri. I've already asked her to help delay Demiurge before the barrier back block off all comes. Huh? Can she manage by herself? Yeah, she's OP. She's got a friend. Let's hope the, imp Let's hope the imprisoned queen won't grow up too fast. What the fuck does that mean? Alright. 622, here we go. Breakthrough. Whether a piece is good or bad is of lesser importance than the hand that it moves it. Thirty-eight K should be doable then, right? Right? Oh god, it's ju the, just the, the just battle ones. I hate those. I hate those. I hate this. Okay. Uh, there's the medic here, and there's these two aspects there. The specialists. Okay. Whew. Okay, medic down. Okay, not so bad. In this episode, what does tear or that means? Oh, <laughs> there's you too much. Alright, same thing as before. Medic down there, alright, that's dead. Get rid of this one. Get rid of that other one, yeah. And we're good. Big number, whoa! Uh, guards, okay, yeah. Okay, now this one might be hard. There's the sniper and the spec, so gotta worry about those two. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh, crit damage increased. Alright, alright. Yeah, get rid of the medic. 
No, get rid of the sniper. No, get rid of the other sniper. Yes, exactly like that. All right. Now, where should this battle cry, battle cry before using the auto skill? Dealing dirty damage, blah blah. And inflict bleed or silence. Hmm. So with that. Say medic, sniper, this, this dude. Okay. Get rid of the medic. Get rid of the sniper. Get rid of the sniper. I say. Okay. Now get rid of that that dude. Yes. Thank you. I'll just kill recharge. Okay. More power to Kuro. All right. Medic first. Then let's get this one. Now let's get this one. All right. Uh, physical damage, a chance to silence the attacker. Okay, let's go with this one. They were both silenced, so... Okay. This is the last battle of the first layer. Looks... Doable. Medic down. There was another of oh, this. Get rid of him. There we go. Easy. Okay. Now we just gotta wait for the other two. Okay, Kuro had a lot of damage, but it's 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 fine. We're going to the next layer now, so. When medics heal, they increase the hash rate of ally. Okay. When all units physic physical damage. Um this one. All right, more of the same here. Get that medic, get those snipers. And just deal with the rest. No problemo. What's here? Oh yes, allergy. Gimme, give gimme give allergy, gimme allergy. Uh okay. Okay, 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 okay. Get rid of those snipers. Okay. Uh, I search the chance to recover HP or blood oh, bloodthirst. Yes. Let's go with bloodthirst. Let's get those crits. Okay. Love how Hatsu somehow always 
and stop attacking the medic first. It's like she knows. It is set up that way? Maybe. I haven't read all her stuff. She knows what the lady is like. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Get those dudes, Hatsu. I think I clicked the right one. Yes, okay, nice. Not even target crit damage. Oh, okay, sure. There's target priority, but I'm not gonna bore you with it. <laughs> I never actually read her skills, I just know she's good. I should really do that. I should really read skills. I didn't realize Persica was almost dying, but it's it's fine. She's fine. Oh, so it's an idea to make them fall into a deep sleep. Okay. Oh. Oh, Dragon Slayer. This is gonna be interesting. Target that one. <laughs> oh, okay, what's the last one? I was worried because Hatsuchiri died. Okay, that hasn't been so bad so far. But now we go down under, and that worries me. 
We go to part 18. And I was I was worried this morning. Baby chick, communicate, encourage, and guide. What does that mean? Oh, we're back with Demiurge. I'm hungry. I'm empty and I want to be full. But now there's something I want more than filling my belly. I've come to bring you freedom, Demiurge. The black lamb called Odile says something strange. F freedom? Oh yes, freedom. Being able to eat as you please, to dance, travel to bright places, and sing all the songs you want. You won't have to worry about being hurt by anyone, and you'll be surrounded by your countless minions. Freedom. Brightness. Words linked to light. It's like the dream I saw when I emerged from my egg. But I can't leave. That barrier which hurts me is there. Garbled language. Go wherever you want, eat whoever you want. Let's go. It hurts because that barrier can launch attacks, just like your tentacles. Then... The limb called Odile picks up my feeler. Then, she tenderly caresses it. Ew. She doesn't cut it, she doesn't shred it, she doesn't make it hurt. Completely unlike Deep Blue's touch. There's only a warm sensation. Just like when the purple liquid flows over my body. This is your tentacle. The barrier is like it, attacking anything that it touches. Do you understand? Things that hurt are like tentacles. Bad Deep Blue has tentacles which can envelop this entire space. Should I cut it? Oh yes, you can. Wreck all the havoc you want. You don't like her, do you? I can tell. I don't like her. I don't like Bad Deep Blue. I want to chew her to bits. I want to eat her. I want to make Deep Blue hurt the same way I do. That smile though. I see. What a good girl you are. I'm here to help you. Help you? What? That's what it sounded like, but I can't understand it. I'm so hungry. The black limb evades my coils. Dear me, I don't mean helping you out like that, you know? Look, above you. I look up. I can... I can reach. It's the place where food falls from. It hurts when I touch it. No food is coming down. It'll be a while longer. So they feed you from above, and the rock wall to the side is the door to the surveillance room. What a handy facility. But we can use this. I don't get it. What's supposed to say she doesn't get it? Don't be hasty. When the time comes, the curtains will rise and reveal the stage. Once that happens, you'll be able to live. I don't get it, but I think I understand a little. I want to know more. The black limb isn't like my other limbs. It isn't like food. It isn't like deep blue. I want to hear more of what she has to say. No, don't listen to her. Freedom. Light. I want light and freedom. I will help you lure the administrator away, and when she opens the bedrock, you will be free. Of course, it's always darkest before the dawn. I'll let you and your minions handle that then. Dark. So it will hurt? The dawn. Light. Freedom. I want freedom. It's okay if it hurts. I want to be free. 
I want to eat more and find more limbs. I want to eat Batty Blue to rent her shell and shred her body. I want to be free. Look like you made up your mind. Then that makes us allies. As close as sisters, like vassals with shared loyalties. <laughs> the limp cold oil takes my hand. I'm still hungry. She's helping me. I won't eat her. But food hasn't come yet. I'm sorry, not preparing a present for you was a mistake on my part. After all, this is a secret meeting. But still, she'll send me food your way soon, right? After all, that's how she keeps you imprisoned. Tap tap. A familiar sound. Is food coming? Is this the boy? Another hot crazy evil lady enters the fray. Is this the boy? Oh, good thing I turned down my touch and sensitivity for Nafel. The boy! The boy! It's the boy! Look at him. He's so pretty. He's so beautiful. The boy! <laughs> That's so male. <laughs> This place is... Why is there such a place underneath this sector? Oh my, an unexpected guest. I wonder if a snack that's not on the menu can become nutrition for your quest for freedom? How curious. <laughs> Still, I don't wish to receive an uninvited guest without dressing for the occasion. I need to make some preparations. We'll meet again, won't we? Out there, I mean. Hey, Kalios! <laughs> Margaret said I got BTS trapped. <laughs> the limb called Oral vanishes. I heard there was a voice that spoke. Ch the signal's being jammed by something. I see what fell down along with the water. It's new food, though it seems a little different from usual. Eat. Just come by to say hi. <laughs> All right, Carlos. Thank you for dropping by. Have a good night. What? My tentacles catch nothing but air. The food has vanished. There is a tremor from the surface. The food has burrowed on the ground. I'm hungry. I want to eat it. I have to eat it. I need to eat it. Eat it, turn it into nutrients, rip the blue to shreds. Read them. Damn, damn girl. Knocked arrow, nothing is more alluring than hope. Haha, uh -huh, don't you say, game. Alright, let's go. Let's go and hope for the best. We pray. Alright, medic. Remember what I said before? <laughs> Meta commentary on the depths themselves. Uh, alright. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Um, um. Oh, fuck. Hmm, this is not looking good for me. I don't like those neutral protocols. Alright, so far so good. 
Oh no, Silent Rage. I mean, I don't mind Silent Rage that much. It's the other one I don't like. This one, Sharpshooter. I don't like Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter scares me. Fuck! I pressed the wrong one, that was almost dead. Okay, it's fine. I absolutely despise neutral protocols, me too. Can I sell them? I can't sell them. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna need to retry this run just because of the awful amount of weird protocols that I got. Unlucky. Mm, is there... oh yeah, there's a medic right there. Another first retry? Maybe. We shall see how I do. So far I'm surviving at the very least. Forty percent damage reduction or when protocols hinder you than helping you? Yeah. You hate to see it. Oh fuck. Uh, a medic? I'm hoping for an allergy. Try if I get Silent Rage since I use Flexible Protocol and Angela. Yeah, I mean, I use Offensive, so it's usually fine. It's just like all the other ones that I got. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I got so many. Not so bad. Mm. All or warrior? Uh, okay. Oh, 
Well, fuck. Um... Trading area. Okay, let's pray. Oh god, this is only the second layer. You you love to see it. Oh, there's a big one here, I didn't see it. Oof, okay. How am I surviving this? I don't know. HP shield. HP shield. Next layer. Oh god. Here we go. <laughs> Sniper. Okay. Upgrade that. Okay. Ah, uh, make sure. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this. Have I mentioned that I hate this? a big one in the corner fuck okay oof
Okay. What do I get? Oh, okay. Kin. Oh, nice. At least one positive protocol. At last. Okay. Uh, all right, we take that. Uh, I'm so stressed. Come on, where's the sniper? Oh, it's almost dead, honestly. Let's destroy this one first. this one okay I have the overclocks right yes I do <laughs> Oh, okay this is the last one. Okay, I can do it. This looks very, very doable. Put the medic first. Get this dude. Oh, I didn't see that dude there. Oh, okay. It's done. Woohoo. Okay. Yeah, let's try the last one. All right. At least it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Woo! I'm gaming. <laughs> Does it have to be pretty as long as it's cleared? Exactly, it's very true. I'm in gaming. What do I have? Probably Pana. Probably Panakea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cute. Is she good? What does she do? Enter research mode for six seconds to tablet in this mode with the skill ceiling chance increased to 100. Healing effect increased by 70%. And three more instances will be added to Dobby Streamer. What? I feel like I really need to read her other skills to understand. Six twenty four was fun. I don't know if I should trust your definition of fun, but we'll see. Cuteness waifu level. Confluence. At this time, your intimate relationship. Okay, we're back with the boy. Tap tap. It's less funny, you'll see. I think I, I might remember from when I did it on standard. Oh, good thing I turned down my touch sensitivity when I fell. This place is... It's all dark here, and there are irregular data blocks everywhere. 
Why is there such a place underneath this sector? This is Suayoi, Healing Arcadia. <laughs> My boy. I repeat, Healing Arcadia. The signal's being jammed by something. A tentacle suddenly lunges at Suayoi, and he dodges it by reflex. Uh, what? Suayoi executes a roll, then stabs his last into it and instantly dives underground. <laughs> she must be. Are you confused? Yeah, I'm still not. I'm still not understand how they dive into the ground. But like, I, let's just accept it. The mirror looks around. To her, it's as though Suyu has suddenly vanished into thin air. Meanwhile, Suyu is still doing travels amidst the bedrock. I didn't think the ability to dive on the ground will come in handy at a time like this. So there's an intelligent and tropic. So there's an intelligent and tropic. It looks like the group's conclusions about the tropics were right. Did that dead fish of an administrator trick me? There's nothing here that matches the description of the objective. In any case, I'm in a lot of danger. I really don't want to try contacting her at a time like this. Just as Suya is about to make a transmission, his arm suddenly brushes against something soft and utterly unlike the rock he's moving through. What's this? The moving chamber wraps around his arm and instantly splits open to reveal an aperture edged with rows of sharp teeth. She can even detect submerged agents? He reacts immediately and swings his weapon to hack the filler off. However, the teeth on the filler have already la lacerated his arm. Is this an entropic signal? Why is it being directly transmitted into my mind? I never close been infected by her. Damn it, I can't hesitate now. Is there some other place where I can make a breakthrough? So Yu swings his spear in the fence and looks to the roof of the grotto. Damn it, no wonder the filler didn't stop me. There are entropics in the empty space above too. How many monsters are there in here anyway? And there's no reply to my distress signal either. Damn it, I mustn't go down here. The pursuit drags on and on. As his infection worsens, so Joe slowly loses all sense of time. A loud crash echoes through the void in the bedrock, starting his slowly clouding consciousness awake. Something has smashes the rock blocking his path, and a ghostly purple light pours in through the cracks from outside. <laughs> she is here! Oh, look at this art! Don't move around, Suyoi. Hatsushiya stabs the entropic creature long in at her. The leaf blades on her spear spin and melt the enemy blocking her path along with the rock. Respectfully looking at the earth, uh-huh. To the two noises which fill the air to the two noises which fill the air harmonize for a moment before fading away completely, leaving nothing but a lingering hiss. I won't thank you for this. I'm just glad to see you're alive. Have you prepared a way out? Come with me. So Yo follows Hatsuchiri and sinks back on the ground. <laughs> we definitely get to witness her prowess. <laughs> uh huh. We'll be making a detour to avoid this in tropics. Are you alright? I don't need your pity. Call it whatever you want. The fact is, I saved you. Two. 
your heart. Do you need operants? Oh, please, come off it already, unless you want to catch my infection. As Uchiro grabs Soyo's arm and infuses some operants into him. That should keep you going for a while. I won't thank you for this. Double negatives make a positive. Yo, where did the lazy go? She ran into some trouble on the surface. The situation is more complicated than we expected. Also, I should point something out. If I went around, you'd be too infected to talk so much rubbish. Fine, hats off to you. How's progress on the mission? The administrator lied to me. There's no objective underground. What did she say that convinced even a doubting Thomas like yourself? What? Doubting Thomas? It's the first time I hear that. Experiments. Agents. Just these two words. There must have been something else, right? We don't have time for a lengthy debate. So Joy points up at the ceiling. The roof of the grotto is crawling with purplish black entropic units. Some are still in their gooey initial state, but many others have evolved into other forms. Better pick up the pace. Wait, I'm getting a transmission from the Oasis. The Oasis? You've established relations with them? This <laughs> is Miles. So, Joy, draw your weapon and prepare for a fight. I hope you'll give me an answer afterwards. I like them. After the battle with the Entropics. That's strange. The combat effectiveness of these Entropics isn't as high as the ones in the depths. This has something to do with that message from the Oasis, right? It's me! It's Kuruko, have you heard of them? They are the professor of the Oasis. It will be hard not to know about what they've done in Magrasea. The professor activated the barrier and slowed down the Entropic's movements. If they can activate the barrier, does that mean the Oasis has obtained administrator permissions for the sector? Yes. From that transmission, it seems the surface is also crawling with Entropics, so leaving the sector will be extremely difficult. Hmm. Do you want us to help the professor then? We have no choice. All we need to do is buy some time. And why is that? We don't have to get involved. Because of you. You've been affected by the entropy. We need to help the Oasis defeat the High Order Entropic Demiurge and obtain the Entropic Source Code from her. You should just dump me here. What's wrong with that? Aren't you very good at it? What? What is true you have? <laughs> What's going on here? Helping the Oasis is a better option, and we need your strength to complete the mission. Meh, we've gone this far. Let's do it your way. Then we'll need to follow the professor's tactical plans and circle around the subterranean and tropics. Got it. Get a move on. Also, be careful. Don't get hurt again. As the cherry points to Sueyo is wound. I'll keep that in mind. They have a weird relationship there. 624, cooperative action. No matter how our relationship is, there are some people who will always stand by your side. Oh! Hatsu only. I see. It's one of those stages. Despite the many wounds on his body, Soyo continues to attack in tandem with Hatsuchiri, keeping the nearby and Nearby entropy located at bay. Hatsu is all you need. For real, for real. Uh, warrior. And I know you could quick collect there. Now you know. This is the Hatsu solo showcase. Yeah, exactly. In case you didn't roll for her, now they're giving you the.
なたたちにはどんな風に見えてるの Alright Uh, so then again, Oh god, these dudes. Okay, nice. Woo! I, I think Soyo heals her at some point, right? Pretty sure. So why can't you solo maps normally? Do <laughs> mm, we trade? Good luck on the missions. Thank you. Damage. We love to damage. There we go. Ooh, damage reduction. Upgrade. What do we upgrade? Blood thirst. Mm, Out of skill. Oh, let's actually get rid of this one. Or the flick blade or the true damage. Uh, okay, let's go with that one. It's only one layer after all. Okay, the moment of truth. Sheesh, I hate this. Oh yeah, exactly. A reminder again to do your session protocol today if you haven't because it re it resets. There we go. Okay, let's try the last one, sure. Pressure with black hole and the no exception protocol is my new best friend. <laughs>
Estoy casi terminando el evento. <laughs> Total didn't just go out on a run, it's valid. What miss? Um, I'm almost done. I mean, somewhat. I'm aware on the last stretch. War without end, a tacit understanding. Twisted red? Yeah. Time for more Mass Effect? Yeah, as soon as I'm done, my sister will reclaim the computer and start up Mass Effect. As per the professor's instructions, Hasuchiri and Suiyoi are doing everything they can to keep the Demiarch busy. Under the pair's joint effort, many of the Demiarch's tentacles are severed the moment they regenerate and she cannot find a stable footing on the rock wall. They're interfering with me. Don't get in my way, food. An entropic unit picks up the subtle resonances in the air as several entropics screaming in unison, disturbing the vibrations in the air. She's trying to disrupt our connection. Soyoi, cover me. Got it. Responding to Hasuchiri's request for help, Soyoi emerges from the rock above and precisely slashes through the mid-order and tropics producing the noise. However, Soyoi fails to borrow underground in time after that strike. Got you. Ah, so hot. No, it's not hot anymore. Am I imagining things? What's... what's happening to me? Focus, Suiyoi. Right. Suiyoi glasses at his wound, then he comes to a realization. That high order entropic is disrupting my senses with electronic signals. My neural cloud is being corroded by the entropy. She's way more skillful with her attacks, and her sentences are becoming more complete. She's evolving so fast. We need to hold out for another four minutes. Can you do it? Do you even need to ask? The Oasis needs to take care of her once and for all after this, or else it'll only cause more trouble later on. Are you my food? Or my king? The sudden voice in his mind briefly dazes Suiyoi. The white light generated by the barrier is consumed by the rising tide of entropy, and Demiurge runs the purplish black screen again. A crack opens in the barrier. Ah! Though he's covered in wounds, Suiyoi keeps pace with Hatsuchiri and continuously presses the attack from all directions. Her signal disruption is growing stronger. Lurking for a bit, all right. Damn it, is she using me as a breakthrough point? Breakthrough point. It means a place that looks strong, but is actually very weak. I've learned something. Won't you become mine, Suayoi? Don't you dare call my name. You're grossing me out. I refuse. So Yoi resists the onslaught of disruption and struggles to focus his operands in order to shred the surrounding entropics and demiurge tentacles. You refuse, then you are food. Rejected by the boy, yeah. Come down, Suiyoi. Don't waste your operands. 
The Vari is losing strength. We can't hold out much longer. I know that. Go over from here. Go over from here. How much longer does the Oasis need? Three minutes? That's right. Damn it. They need to hurry the hell up. His emotions are getting more and more unstable. Is that also due to the entropization? Hang in there, Suyoi. The intense back and forth continues. Attacking, looking down, harassing, assaulting from every possible opening. In the end, Suyoi's movement stopped for a full two seconds. I can't lift my arms. They won't listen to me. Snap out of it, Suyoi. Hasuchiri shouts at Suyoi. At this moment, Demiurge sneaks up on Hasuchiri. Did you forget about me? Hasuchiri immediately sees to her defense and brings her spear up in front of her. However, Demiurge's attack is not coming in a long is not coming in along a straight line. Before Hasuchiri can react, the rest of Demiurge's fillers have turned and burrowed into the ground, thus bypassing Hasuchiri's defenses before instantly emerging from behind her. I learned how you fight. The tentacles are mere feet away from Hatsuchiri's exposed back. The next moment, a powerful white light illuminates her from behind. Ah! Tentacle... heart... So... damn... noisy... Shut up already! Soyoi, what happened to your body? The light fades from the spear in Suyoi's grip. He leans on it heavily to keep himself from collapsing. His torso has nearly been torn apart by a direct hit from a tentacle, and his protective outfit is completely wrecked. Since he made contact with Demiurge at close range and got splashed, liquid entropy is now dropping from his forehead down to his toes. I'm not that weak. Weak. Eat. Dream on. Before Demiurge can approach Suyoi, Hasuchiri is already brandishing her spear, ready to fight to the dead. However, Demiurge suddenly comes to a halt. Above, my limbs are calling. Finally, they've cheated open. She looks up. Now is the time. Faint daylight filters down from above, shutting her head in a thin veil of light. <sighs> light. The barrier is disintegrating rapidly. Climbing up the rock column and using other entropic units as footholds, Demiurge ascends toward the light. Soon, she will struggle free of her bindings and obtain freedom. Soon, she and her entropy will become a calamity that engulfs my Gracia. To the outside. I won't let you. In an instant, Soyoi chops down Demiurge's extending fillers. Soyoi stands in front of Hasuchiri, preparing to attack again. Soyoi, you... Go to crap. How much longer until the OS is done? Just hang in there a little more. They still need 34 seconds. Get back. Leave the rest to me. The light. Nobody can stop me from following the light. Dojo plants himself in front of Demiurge and severed the tentacles around her with all his remaining strength. What a pain. Oh, yo, that face. Damn. Kinda hot. Sue. Yoi. 
The rock walls shudder violently. Large chunks of rocks fall and are devoured by the entropic crawling above them. That's enough, Suyoi. Fall back. Entropy covered rocks are raining down on Hasuchiri and Suyoi. No, five more seconds. That's enough. I'm going to prove to everyone that I'm better. Better than you. Three, two. An entropic has already crawled up to the infected one on Suyoi's arm. One. By the narrowest of margins, Suyoi slices the entropic crawling up his arm to beat and barely manages to keep his balance when he lands on the ground. Although Demiurge has su succeeded in breaking through the barrier, he has completed his mission. Suyoi? Oh no, he's dead. I'm going to transfer operas to you. So Yoi nods slowly as his operands finally run out. He slowly sits down on the ground. He desperately tries to stay conscious while Hasuchiri uses her remaining operands to protect herself and Soe Yoi, who has collapsed on the ground. She looks up at the shattered bedrock above her, at the hole left by Demiurge's escape. Light shines down from above her head, illuminating her face. All she can see is the pale white light of day and the black, wriggling tentacles around it. No matter how hard she strains, she can't catch a glimpse of the outside world. No! The boy! <laughs> this should do, right? Professor? She mutters to herself. I know comps have been cut off, but for the record, the mission entrusted to us has been successfully completed. Oasis, I hope your plan succeeds. She looks down silently at the unconscious Suayoi. It really has been a while, now it's just the ground and us again. Nobody can hear us. Doesn't matter if we call for help, make a report, or say anything else. We can't just talk between ourselves. What a familiar situation. Hasuchiri lowers her head and sighs as she looks at her murky reflection in a puddle of liquid entropy. I feel so alone. Man! I'm sad now. What the fuck? How dare! All its support, it is better to channel than to block, divide and suppress. One layer. Should be... Should be good. We're cutting it short, but we'll try. But man, I'm such now. Why? Why did they have to get the boy? Look at all those annoying snipers. We'll, cert we'll certainly miss him. We learned so much about him after those three minutes he was on the screen. <laughs> oh, allergy! <laughs> We love energy. We love energy that much. Uh, medic, snipers. All right. Okay. Wars you flick, one stack of bleed. Yeah, let's get that. Sheesh. Ah. 
All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, what are the life steal effect enhance? Okay. All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, I feel like I should just put everyone up here. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so many medics. I hate it. Let's refresh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get that for snipers, sniperinos. Okay. So far, so good. Bum, bum. Water jail. Uh, no kill like overkill. Yes. Yes. Oh, also I forgot this. Uh, my usual overclocks. Woo! Okay, okay. That wasn't so bad. It feels like certainly like 617 was like the hardest one. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? But now, yeah, people tell me apparently it's like 626 also is hard. Catastrophe appears before us. The situation turns critical. Okay, what's this? And how will it absolutely destroy me? I'm sure you've got it. Don't be so sure. She's dumb, guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for the word of confidence. Is it taunt? Yeah, it is taunt. Easy. 
I got into a bit of trouble clearing it. We shall see how I do. Medic? Alright. Uh, oh, nice. Function library. Let's see what we get. Okay. Creeds, we like those. Uh, okay, there's two sword dudes, so this is gonna be annoying. Okay. Not so bad, not so bad. So good. Oh god. Now comes the real challenge. Here. Oh god. Why is there so many tentacles? I hate it. this boss fight there are children present <laughs> too late but it's fine i destroyed all the tentacles um did you hear a noise in the background when i talked it's really because my sister crying her hair um converting trees by five
彼女があなたたちを連れて行ってくれるだから安心して眠って Alright, we go, we go. How many layers is this again? Two. Okay. Sheesh, they're not. They're not giving me an easy time here. Sounds like an app. Sound like the game or what? It just was at my. <laughs> my sister was trying her hair. She was showering. I'm like, we live in a very small apartment, so it's not like she can go away to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. I'll take it. It should be gone now, though. She's she's done. Your voice sounded static, static sometimes. Oh, it was probably because of that. Because I. Might have been that because the microphone doesn't like the with the noise suppression and that it apparently didn't pick the the noise of the hair dryer on its own. But like if I speak, you know, it picks all the it picks up all the background noise. Uh, pa -pa -pa. Sniper. Alright. I see sword dudes. Alright. Ghost will be I. The audio device is starting to get entropy side. No, no, it's the entropy. <gasps> Allergy. Trading area. More allergy. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Stack of blair. Uh, let's just, let's just, let's just take them all. Just, just, why not? Why the fuck not? Uh, do I gonna go into the anomaly area? Oh. Oh. And I had the... Greece, right? Yes. All right, let's go. I think it wasn't that dude that I wanted, but it's fine. The sword dude is dead. <laughs> All right. Sure, I'll take it. Recovery upgrade. We take Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can do this.
ここでおしまい Doing this at normal regular speed. Demi actually does leg day. Okay, I need to retry this. But uh, I feel I can make it. Retry. Let's do I have more overclock? Well, let's see what I get. Oh never mind, I don't have money. The thing is mostly like she's alive a lot. She has a lot of HP. And do it, girls.
thing is also is that they're not lasting enough. Like when it comes to HP. Okay, uh, let's try, I guess let's try flexible strategy, because also the other thing is that at one point Kuro gets stuck here, like away from all the healers, so I, I lose here at one point and it's just like, no, the DPS. Like, I need Kuro to stay nearby the healers. Is there a way to, like... Or does she just have to endure that? Heal yourself, Percy. Okay, yeah, right, I can teleport one next to the... It feels so weird to play at regular speed. There we go. Are you winning? I'm trying. We're almost there. Kuro, get in the healing circle. Let's go! <laughs> do you wanna go take a look? No, I do not. No, do it even harder? I mean, fine, I'll try. <laughs> but if I die, I die. Oh no, that encryption. This one is really fun. You have a weird concept of fun. Kuro, get back here. Kuro, get back here, I said.
Uh, how many times do I have to tell you? Do not get away from the healers. Oh no. Oh no! <sighs> yeah, I don't know if the, my healing can... We're gonna be here a while, guys. Okay, never mind. There was an attempt. There was an attempt. But it's fine. We, we did the... We got almost halfway there. Now let's see. Contingency plan. A perfectly executed backup plan. On the surface at the seaside, the storm from the weather simulator has been raging non-stop. The sky is dark and the vortex in the ocean has been still for 10 odd minutes now. Are we just going to stand by and watch? So, take a look at the color of the seawater. The liquid entropy that was dispersed by the storm is now gathered around the edge of the vortex, and fillers dance languidly upon the water surface under the darkened sky. A plant takoyaki is go. <laughs> oh, and now I'm hungry. <laughs> Uh, it's all liquid entropy down there, so there's no point going in, right? Of course there is. You'll become a delivery mail for the tropics, Sully. What's with that weird tone? You're keeping me out, Anna. I'm just worried that all of Copley will get wrecked if Hastaturi can't stop Demiurge. And even if we don't manage to escape the Copley sector, Demiurge still has the source code croc needs, and this is as close to here as we're going to get. The professor said that... The professor said they've sowed the seeds. Frankly speaking, I don't like staking everyone's life on such a vague statement, but there's nothing else I can do. You won't mess around with us when it comes to this sort of thing, right, professor? Never. The earth shudders and interrupts Antonina's question. In contrast, the ocean is abnormally still. Or rather, the water is pulling around the center. Five-head professor moment as usual, as usual, of course. 
Hold on tight to me. Don't fall down. Sol holds onto Antonina and me tightly, doing her best to stay balanced as the ground shakes and trembles. We shuffle bit by bit behind one of the rocks on the seaside. Looks like she's broken through the barrier. It held out longer than I expected. Not bad. Professor, the situation on the sea is getting out of hand. We've lost control of missions over the sea water. Are we sticking to the plan? Yep, I stick to the renal plan and turn it all the way up. Understood. Weather simulator, full power activation. As in response to the dark moon on the ocean surface, the clouds in the sky grow heavier. The air pressure plummets, hailstones form in the clouds and lash widely at the surface of the sea, sending huge waves splashing up to the heavens. Persicaria, can you see what's happening out at sea? The hailstones are applying a certain amount of suppression, but the entropics are taking measures against it. Below, other entropics are using themselves at missions to mitigate most of the hailstones' destructiveness. The Demiurge understands the concept of self preservation. She's using the low order entropics to protect herself and she's using the operands from the hailstones instead. Do as I say and keep it stolen for time. The hailstones continue to rain down on the sea, while a wobbling tower suddenly rises from the dark moon. Countless styxes burst out through the surface of the ocean and rise to the clouds under the cover of the low order entropics, scattering the clouds by the simple expedient method of charging into them. What? They can do that from so far away? It's thoroughly broke, like it got Trojan. First it's fixing it, but she'll miss some time. A Trojan. It must have been when we were on the ground. Demiurge puts up no resistance and allows Antonina to pin her to the spot. She tilts her head and looks towards Antonina with a ponderous expression. The... OS Alright, oh, the DDO DDOS attack. Demiurge is copying my attack methods and hacking the weather simulator with signal disruptions. It's much smarter than the first time we met her underground. I need 10 more seconds. Please give me up and support me, Selacy. The sky above the sea clears up briefly, and the tower from Tropics crumbles. Crashing back to the ocean. Where the tower fell, Demiurge surfaces, looking around in a daze. Yeah, she got DDoS. <laughs> so, this is the land of freedom, where the light shines. It's so bright and it hurts, but I'm happy. The dark clouds gather again, and hailstones fall from the sky amidst a storm. The low order and tropics gather around Demiurge as mid-shields to absorb the impact from the hailstones. The occasional hailstone makes it through that defense, but Demiurge sweats it away with a mere flick of her feelers. As the incapacitated low order and tropics fall one after the other, the seawater turns a darker shade of purple. I try to disrupt their signal. So, cover the professor. I'll protect both of you, so just focus on doing your thing. The rate at which the clouds gather is slowing down, but not many of the entropics have been destroyed. Demiurge turns to look at us on the beach. Demiurge resistance to signal disruption is rising. There's movement under the sand. Get to the rocks, quick! Don't think you can hide from me. Several entropics have already rushed onto the beach. We hardly climb up the rocks to avoid the entropics that were borrowing through the sand. Sol swings her twin blades and wipes out all the entropics that crawl up to attack us. Ah, uh, the attack is still going on. Persis repair speed can't keep up. I'll help, fix it. I'll help fix it with her. We won't have much time to communicate after this, so the rest is up to you, Professor. I'm sorry. I 
can't hold on much longer on my end either. The volume of signals is too great and I can't crack them all in time. Professor, when is this contingency plan of yours coming? Soon, trust me. <laughs> coming soon, just like reverse collapse, am I right guys? Trust me. Why you? Fine, I'll hang in there a little longer. Soon, Tien. Antonina sounds like she wants to go on, but then she suddenly grabs her he head and stumbles. Ah, damn it. Anna, are you alright? Not only is she resisting my decryption, she's also trying to send me signals. Anna? Hey, profs, Anna's. Don't tell her you order pizza instead of reinforcements. The, the pizza is reinforcements. I'm fine. Don't let the tropics catch you off guard. But. What? Just then, a golden light suddenly appears in the heavens. A hail of the being gunfire and shells rains down from above, decimating all the entropics around us in moments. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> enemy of my enemy, for real! Hailing Watchtower, Intermediate Sanctifying Love has arrived at the designated sector, requesting ongoing support. Warriors, commence volley fire. Raiders, prepare to suppress enemies. Hey, yo! <laughs> calling, calling the police on tentacles. The Mjord emits a shriek that shakes the heavens. A golden haired Intermediate Sanctifier descends from the sky. Landing between the rocks and the sea before nodding to us. You're here at last. Wait, sanctifiers? Phew, at last. Thank you all for staying behind to provide us with positional data. This region will become a battlefield soon, so please fall back to avoid being caught up in it. After instructing us to fall back, she turns to face the horde of entropics charging up over the surface of the ocean. Large scale entropic force detected. Requesting opponent support. Refactors, prepare to move in. Will they be alright? Looks like they came prepared. Guess my explanation didn't go to waste. We can relax and leave it to them. Are you alright, Antonina? Don't look down on me. I won't get hacked by just this much signal disruption. But you're still drawing operands. I'm just trying to crack her incoming signals. I think I understand a bit of what she was sending to the outside. Sis. Sis? The involvement is in place. Cleansing commencing. Ayo! Antonina looks past the densely packed ranks of sanctifiers in the mirror's direction. She has emerged from the ocean, like a bird about to take to the sky. Powerful emotions assault Antonina's neural cloud through the signals she is receiving. Sis. The light. Freedom. Complicated feelings incoming? Oh, let's go. I love having complicated feelings about enemies. 627, let's see. A spotlight to welcome freedom is to also welcome death. Oh. Interesting. Antonina only. Oh no, with the sad music. To break free of the long night, to search after that elusive dawn. Oh, 
Holy fuck. I don't know how to feel about this. The round foot and the square foot are in my way and they're hurting me. They're attacking me. Why are they attacking me? I'll smash them with my feelers. If you block my path, I'll smash you all to bits and eat you. Heavy damage detected. Requesting restoration. Engaging healing module. Refactor. Begin operation. The round foot and the square foot are whole again. That's the gold foot's doing. She is the color of light. Man. We're just gonna sit here and watch. Oh, she's advancing. Ever since I ate that food which made Deep Blue cry, Bad Deep Blue began visiting more frequently. Sometimes she will say some things too. Back then, I didn't understand, but now that I recall what she said, I finally understand. You've been yearning to go outside, haven't you? Do you want to be free? <laughs> Report ID 4052. Demiurge is showing a, sub a subjectively hostile reaction. Host there is light and water outside. All the things that an ecology sector will have. And there is nothing else. Light? Water? You are trapped here, and so am I. What difference is there between a big cage and a small one? Mm -hmm. Yet still you wish to escape. Freedom must be very important to you, isn't it? Or perhaps you have no such concept at all. Freedom. Light. Water. They are all connected. Why? The light is supposed to be freedom. Why is the light blocking me too? <laughs> Requesting watchtower support. Temperances and throwers have been deployed. Forgers, another volley. But the blue's tentacles were very annoying. The blue sea water is also very annoying. The big, clear rock that fell out of the light is very annoying. The golden light is also annoying. I'll chew them to bits, but I can't chew the light. I can't chew the light of freedom. It hurts. It keeps hurting. It falls Peter patter on me. I can't advance. This is not freedom. The golden light did not give me freedom. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I'm sure how you gave her, gifted her a lamp. <laughs> Maybe. My limbs. They're protecting me. There must be a light out there which doesn't hurt. I will go forward with my limbs and together we will chew everything to bits. No matter how much it hurts, we have to go into the freedom and light where there is no pain. She's not dancing. The food waits in the light. The food is constantly being repaired. If it is repaired, then I'll eat it. I'll eat it until it can't be repaired anymore. Onward. I am getting the feels. It hurts. My limbs are all dead. My feelers are all severed. 
The water feels so heavy. I can't go on. I'm so hungry. I have to eat the golden light. If I eat it, I'll get better. A high order entropic is approaching the formation. Keep blocking it and deplete the entropic's operands. I'm close. Soon, I'll grab her. I'll seize the light. Oh man. Light. I. Want. Entropic target has been subdued. So that one sniper who died in combat? Oh man, I didn't see it. But man, that's so sad, what the fuck? How dare they? Impermanence. Until the play concludes, you can never be sure what grotesque conclusion the director has planned. That was too sad, what the fuck? I feel worse if you didn't keep mentioning wanted to eat everyone. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess you have a point. Sanctifiers stop firing. As the smoke clears, densely packed entropic corpses can be seen floating on the ocean surface. Demiurge, who was controlling them, stands in the stark solitude amidst this, this sea of entropy. Yeah, Mika, what grotesque conclusion do you have planned? <laughs> Careful, she's still alive. She twitches her feelers and slowly props her body up. Her gaze is not turned to the weapons and guns trained on her, but at the sky above the copley sector. For the first time, sunlight shines directly on her face, not filtered through seawater or after passing through a fissure at the bottom of the sea. Freedom. She wades through the deep purple seawater making her way toward the opera simulated sunlight. No resistance detected from the target. Watch out for further actions from the entropic unit. The special specimen must be captured for analysis. Lo and her sanctifiers carefully watch Demiurge's movements. She shuffles toward her final destination, creating ripples across the water. At last, I'm touching the light. She raises her feelers to the heavens, drinking in the unreal sunlight, just as she is about to reach the core of its warmth. A lance of deep purple operas condensed into physical form pierces her body. Light shines through the wound in her body. She remains frozen in the act of reaching for the sunlight as her final whimper fades away like a f like fragrance wafting through the air. Meanwhile, the owner of the deep purple operands flap her black wings, having arrived above Demiurge at some point. Oh, this bitch! Odile, you... You actually attacked Demiurge? Registering traffic unit detected. Alert! She stole your kill. <laughs> As if to mock Sol's angry shout, Odile lands lightly on Demiurge's ravaged body. Purple petals fall from the sky, kissing the dark colored ocean. Don't fail me now, voice mod. Do it manually. <laughs> oh, what beautiful soul. When climbing to her dreams, she was like a butterfly's fluttering wings. But when the wings are broken, she returns to the form of a maggot, 
and none will praise her lost beauty. How precious is freedom! Is it worth fursing blades or weathering hills of lead and steel? Only the tardy sun will kiss her cheek, and so the song of freedom continues. You... What have you done? Will you... Will you even kill your own master? A skilled director ought to know exactly when to end a far... What? went to end a farce and give each character an appropriate ending. She went through so much pain and hardship to escape her underground prison, and you, who, go, who proclaim yourselves to be just, will have locked her into another gaol. <laughs> Looks at Kim, dear phone and theater ranking. Yeah, those people are crazy. Yeah, always be wary of theater people. Surely she would not have wanted that, no? Thus, I gave her her final freedom. The mirror to stops moving for good. Odal caresses her gently, as if admiring a sculpture of her own making. All is as the master wishes. What nonsense are you spewing now? The mirror is supposed to be dead. So why doesn't she seem to be affected at all? Oh dear, oh, dear heroes, surely you didn't think that pitiful princess was my master? Don't tell me. Oh, how disappointing. Though my master is similarly confined, her vast intellect has always shone like the sun. In comparison, this clueless princess was nothing more than a child. Did the havoc she wrecked you with just the slightest instigation? How childish. Damn it, I should have known. Anna, what's all I'm saying? I know that song. Oh, it was a song? Earlier, I sensed that Demiurge's and Tropics were different from the ones we encountered in Pierides. At first, I thought it was because they were from different sectors. But now it looks like Oral is being controlled by another Demiurge. Or another entropic leader, to be exact. Oh, the background music. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, Anna. If that's true, then Odal came here... Did Odal come here to kill Demiurge? <laughs> Only at the end do the actors understand the script. Okay, this is not working. If you free her from her cage, someone will naturally grant her death. There cannot be two queens in a hive. The master does not permit betrayal. Who's behind you? I don't need to tell you right now, because sooner or later you will all bathe in her lar largesse. You bitch! You seem quite upset. Is something bothering you? That blue hair sanctifier, perhaps? Or is it this princess who's about to dissolve into the seawater? You'd better not measure her again. There's someone out crazier than Oral? Oh yeah, fuck. There's someone crazier out there. Oh my! Your eyes burn with the desire for revenge. Yet you are no longer as rash as before. Will Miss Wisdom be touched if she saw this? You... Patience, look around you. These entropics are far stronger than the incomplete entities commanded by that princess. Shall we enjoy this fight scene then? Don't get cocky, Odile. It'll be your turn soon enough. Of course. A good director ought to watch the entire production and take a bow with the actors. Oh brave dragon slayers, take care that you do not perish along the way. Okay, so uh... 
can we when do we when do we fight this bitch? Court and call. The perfect eulogy. Not even a single word spoken with sincerity. How many stages am I missing? Okay, only this one. Let's try then. It's only one layer. Let's see how I die. <laughs> Dragon is laying us in the protocol. All right, you there, you there, you there. Get rid of the summoning circle. Come on, kill it already. Alright, nice. Oh yeah, overclock, right. Might be useful to activate it right away. Oh, allergy! <laughs> Man, these summoning thingies are strong. Okay, you died. Alright, Croc can manage there. Bloodthirst. Okay, hmm. I should have gotten rid of that of oh, sword dude first. Probably. Get rid of this. Uh, where's another sword dude? There. Okay, we Gucci. We good, we good, we good. Never heard their attack speed increase or mm, okay. There's a sword, dude! There's another sword, dude, there! Alright. Bro, the way Croc just eats damage, I'm just like, holy fuck. Okay. Oh. That could be useful. Oh, allergy damage! Alright. Oh, hey, it's this bitch. What does she do? Continue to summon low order in tropics. Oh, well, fuck you. Oh, 
Oh, what? She doesn't want her death the last straw. <laughs> Got you! A soul lunges at her. Oda calmly holds her ground and lets soul run her through with her sword. Let's see where you can run now. Oh, that hurts. But using this stab as the highlight before the curtain call is somewhat lacking. A huge gut of liquid entropy uses out of Oda's chest and the sea's surface teems ever so slightly. Soul, what you see? Hearing Antonina's warning, Sol wrenches her sword free decisively and breaks away from Odile. The next moment, a massive wave of liquid entropy crashes down in the place where Sol was standing. You use the liquid entropy that Demiurge and those Entropic left behind? Why you? Oda simply smiles as she watches Sol flee. It will be such a waste to only use a stage prop once. Have another bad as a reward for your keenness. The entropy wave surges toward all the agents present, blocking their line of sight. Time for me to make my exit. See you next time. No, come back here, you bitch! How dare you! I've been debated, I thought we could fuck her up. What did I get? Oh, let's go! Level up! And we're done. Just reading now. Empty seats. The endless journey is not all yet over. The travelers cannot yet let down their guard. What's this, by the way? Don't think you can get away. That was a hard level. <laughs> Sol, come back. It's too dangerous to keep chasing her. No, if we don't catch her now, who knows when we'll... Get another chance. Before Sol can finish, she sees a tide of entropy fall on the Sanctifier squad. The scene of wisdom being counterattacked by the entropy after snapping the main gate flashes through Sol's memory. Sol's grip tightens around her sword hilts. Then she slowly lowers her blades. No. Let's listen to Antonina and fall back, guys. It's too dangerous to go after her now. Sol. A tropic unit detected flame from the Copley sector. Watch Tower, please keep tracking it. After giving her order, Lob turns to us. Professor, the Sanctifiers have completed their mission. In keeping with our agreement, please transfer administrator permissions for the Copley sector to us. Huh? Agreement? Transfer? Let's begin the transfer. Wait a minute, Prof. These are the administrator permissions, you know? Tyrannum handed it to us of her own will. Uh, Anna, is this really okay? Kidnap love while you have the chance. <laughs> I'm sure nobody will notice. You knew about this beforehand, Anna? Antonina, are comps in the admin center still working normally? Comps? It has sustained some damage, but it can be fixed in no time. Wait a minute, are you going to ask the Sanctifiers for help? The repairs are done, but I still have a question for you. What will you do if the Sanctifiers designate us irregular agents as enemies, then turn, turn on us and wipe us all out? We might have fought alongside Wisdom for a while, but she is a novice supporter of Elsworth's ideals. If we encounter an intermediate Sanctifier like Faith who cannot be reasoned with, this is, our, this is our safeguard, Antonina. Antonina says no more and turns away. Using the administrator permissions, I secure the line to the headquarters of the Sanctifiers, the reverse tower of Babylon. This is the Copley Sector Admin Center. A large number of entropic units have appeared here, requesting support. 
<laughs> oh, of course she answers. Hey there, Eucharist. It's been a while. Oh, this voice, this ID code. It's been a while, Professor Kruk of the Oasis. Grapher 2, while you're at it? Oh, I wish. Are you Eucharist? Yep, that's me. Everyone's favorite Eucharist. And you must be Anna. I think I've heard your name mentioned somewhere before. In comment reports, probably. That's hardly surprising. <laughs> okay, enough jokes. Professor, I believe you said something about needing my support. But I'd like to help you. How should I summarize my situation? I've fallen from grace? Had my wings clipped? As you can see, I've lost all my privileges and I'm stuck working at a call center. Oh no, she's customer support. <laughs> I figured. Hey, it's all because I helped you out in the Enigma sector that I was demoted to an operator. And now you're rubbing salt into my wounds. It breaks my heart, really, it does. Does Chico know you're treating her precious friend like this? <laughs> but does it pay well? <laughs> I'll come rescue you after it's all over? I mean, sure, let's go. A call center? Wow, my heart actually floated for a moment back there. Still, lying is a bad habit. There's one social credit for you, Professor. What? <laughs> but seriously now, you do know that the Entropics aren't the only ones that the Huntifiers consider to be enemies, right? So let's make a deal. At least you're employed. I mean, true. A deal? You want to make a deal with the Sanctifiers that are hunting you? The fact that I can contact you implies that I have administrator permissions for the Copley sector. Right now, I am going to turn these permissions over to the Sanctifiers. Say what? Oh, do you think the Sanctifiers will care about those permissions? Considering Fate's attitude toward us, I'm pretty sure you do. If you don't want to take on this responsibility, I can send out the transfer information anonymously. I'm pretty sure someone will respond. You have certainly covered all your bases. I suspect that of the professor who spends all day bullying poor or lesser sanctifiers. <laughs> well, someone will come and help you. Until then, you better hang in there. Now then, in keeping with the terms of the agreement, Initiating transfer of the administrator permissions. Ceasefire order is in effect. Irregular agents must leave the Copley sector within 1800 seconds. During this time, all sanctifiers are forbidden from interfering offensive actions against irregular agents. Bully, begin the transfer. Thank you for your contribution to my Gracia. Love bows to us. I didn't think an intermediate sanctifier will actually come. No, she's here on order from Eucharist. She isn't saying anything other than what she's been permitted to say. Please do not make wild guesses about sanctifier deployment. Honestly, Prof, this was way too ballsy. Though I'm not totally against fighting alongside them, mainly because of that wisdom girl. Thirty minutes, we kind of sneak in a bitch episode in that time. <laughs> As I said, it's my safeguard. Hmm, one that ran the risk of killing us all. I knew we would all be safe because Eucharist was the one who picked up. If it hadn't been Eucharist, I'd have steered the conversation to look for a sanctifier under Osphorus. While I understand you are drawing on knowledge of the factional differences within the sanctifiers, I still don't approve of what you did. Human methods and human thinking are all too complicated and chaotic. A scheme like this was like walking a tightrope, a moment's carelessness and we could have been wiped out. <laughs> so that's why you were so mad at the prof. Still, the prof made the right call this time. Don't sweat the small stuff. Now then, professor, 
Why do you want me to accompany you while I contact the sanctifiers? I wanted to win your trust. I mean, that was, I guess that was a way. I agree that my actions were very questionable, so I couldn't keep them from you. Do you expect me to thank you now? We've still got a long road ahead of us, so I wanted to be united. Yeah. Residents of the Oasis, please leave quickly. We are going to close down the sector and clear its data. Oi, Sanctifier, how's Wisdom doing? Antonina Root, Antonina Root, hell yeah! I repeat, residents of Oasis, please vacate the sector quickly. If you do not depart within 1650 seconds, the Sanctifiers will take action. Huh? Not even going to tell us about your friend? Let's go, Sol. We'll figure out something. Fine, let's go. The seawater stops overflowing. Shortly after, a pair of figures emerge from the water surface. Wait a minute, I'm still picking up entropic signals. Be careful. The lazy said Demiurge was eliminated. It's probably lingering influence from the liquid entropy. Her data is still here. Just as Hatsuchiri said, Demiurge's data remain within the sector, like the corpse of some marine life form that gets washed ashore. It just simulated weather, but from here, it looks like she's born in the staring sun. He lives! The boy lives! She managed to touch the light she was dreaming of. Did she find the freedom she wanted before she ceased to function? What's the point of freedom when you're dead? Well, this is unusual. You're actually continuing a conversation I started. My mobility models are about to stop working, and here you are waxing melancholic about a monster. We're still some distance from the seaside. Want me to carry you over there? No need for that. I can manage. At the seaside, the Lacey and Persicaria have left the weather emulation station and are coming to rendezvous with us. Professor, we're together again. I'm so happy. The Lacey moves toward me. Just then, Persicaria stumbles and Sol steps up to support her, which just so happens to block the Lacey's path. Damn, really? Are you okay, Persicaria? You look like you're in bad shape. I just used too many operands. I'm glad everyone's alright. Persicaria is jealous. The Lacey. Your friend has to cheer you and so you haven't come back yet. Want to go look for them with me? Hmm. How did you just contact me? She said they were coming up and they'll be able to meet us soon. Ah, two people are coming up from the sea. It's Hachi and, <laughs> Hachi and Suchi. <laughs> it sounds so weird. Oh dear, Suchi doesn't look too good. I'd better go take a look at him. Let's go together. The boy, my boy. There is another doll that has to cheer his side. He looks very gaunt and pale, yet he's standing upright. You must be the professor. Nice to meet you. I'm Suayoi. Let's dispense with the handshake. My condition makes it inadvisable for me to touch others. He showed me his arm. It's covered in it's covered in entropy infected wounds. The entropization has nearly reached the intermediate stage. Do you want treatment from the oasis? Oh, thank you for your concern, Nana, but we need to be heading back soon. Oh, uh, you obtained a sample of the mirror to source code, haven't you? If you could spare us a copy, we could perform treatment afterward. The lazy swishes her tail as she looks at me. I find myself yielding to her imploring gaze. Of course we can. Suyoe, yeah? Are you really okay? You look terrible. I'm fine, no need to worry. Was that chirp? Suyoe's so legs suddenly give out. He's only safe from collapsing because Hatsuchiri grabbed him just in time. Don't push yourself. You're very weak. I'm fine. Mind your own business. What hit me just now? Something's coming out of the sea. Sol draws her blades. 
Just then, something burst out of the water with lightning speed and launches at Antonina. Are we going to see a Speedo Kruger for a bitch episode or not? The real questions. You know, NPCs are getting skins now, so when are we getting the Speedo Kruger skin? <laughs> real questions, Mika. Ah, oh, I can't avoid it. The fuck is this? Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is adorable, what the fuck? And it makes chirping noises. I only have bright squeaks. It'll have to do. La criatura. Kill it? No, it's cute. As everyone watches, the entropic which has escaped notice rushes to Antonina's side and clings tightly to her cult with all its feelers. <laughs> oh, it's cute, killing with fire. And why did it glue itself to Antonina? Eh? Don't hurt Antonina. Wait a minute, so it, it's not trying to steal my operands. Uh-huh. Did your tokens block it or something? Don't be ridiculous. Antonina plucks the diminutive entropic from her calf. It puts up no resistance at all and simply wraps its feelers around Antonina's wrist. It's not sucking my operands even though it's clinging to my wrist. It's like a cat, it attaches itself to the person less likely to pet it. <laughs> Didn't you just test my hypothesis? Isn't this... The tiny little entropic creature that Demiurge was always carrying around in her fillers? It does look like it. I guess it eluded the sanctifier's detection because she protected it. Maybe Demiurge thought of it as her own child. Yet another human-like reason again? You should stop with your fantasies, Hasuturi. In any case, there's no harm in keeping it around as a research specimen. At the very least, it seems pretty friendly with Antonina. What do you think, Professor? Let's keep it, I want it. Sure, why not? So you exchange a silent looks with the lazy and Hatsuchiri. <laughs> Get over here, cat. <laughs> Letting the oasis handle it seems like a pretty good idea. It's actually kind of cute when you look at it. See, Hatsuchiri understands. If it's not hostile, can I poke it? You have to do with the rat chirps for now. <laughs> Everyone just went through a massive traumatic event involving these creatures and yet they decide to keep one as a pet. But it's cute! And it's harmless. So it only lets Anna touch it? How come even in tropics show discrimination? It's kind of slimy and gooey to have an entropic on my hand. Would you want a privilege like that? So you does not take part in this increasingly farcical banter and walks over to me. Pokes the random pokes in Tropic, what will Stoll not poke? <laughs> she will poke everything. I don't even know what to say. No one wanna come. Professor of the Oasis, do you approve something this ridiculous? I mean sure, why not? I've seen more ridiculous stuff. Many of the agents at the OSS are infected, and while we have obtained the source code, having an anthropic creature as a specimen will be extra insurance for us. Muchas gracias. So you're taking risks for your friends. Fair enough. I have another question for you. What kind of place is the oasis? What do you fight for? Uh, we seek to uncover the cause of this disaster, free or agents from Magrasse. I mean, both are true. Let's go with this. Will the outside world be better? I don't think so. 
Well, Oasis walked a different path from the Guardians. A mysterious organization to which Hatsuchiri, Suyoi, and the Lazy belong. They have a different objective from Oasis and are known for their slogan, for Arcadia. Hmm. Q, what I'm fighting for, good from that OST. <laughs> it's kinda not. I mean, it's kinda. I, mean, I meant it as in, it kinda time. ties into the other, since like, those are supposedly both objectives that we got in for. Some of my personal aims coincide with yours. When the time comes, perhaps we might work together again. I look forward to that day. <laughs> oh, I was referring to his response. Ah, okay. It's kind of not. I mean, true, but they have bodies. But where the real world is better. Yeah. Let's part with here then. No, come back, my boy. The excellent sleeve and Soyo and company have also traveled some distance away. The sunlight simulated by the cloud server is exceptionally dazzling, and Soyo unconsciously shades his eyes with his hand as he looks back in the direction where he parted ways with the exiles. Don't worry, Soyo, you will come to Magrasse with the power of luck and money. I will bring him to the oasis, whether he wants to or not. Are you looking at Demiurge, Sochi? So you turns away. No, I'm looking at our future path. Since we've regrouped, we ought to press on and carry out our top priority order. So your stone only collapses. Sochi? Let him rest for a bit. Has to cheer support Sweyoy and press him up against a nearby tree. Why did I... Why did I jump on its own? Give me ten minutes to recover, then we'll set out again. Yeah, after all, we guardians still have our mission to complete. But before that, let's get the source code home and take a break. Alright then. So Joey once again looks back at the way he came and lets out a derisive chuckle. Everything is for Arcadia. What the fuck? Alright, one more story to read. Communications. It's not known where the signal came from, nor nor where it's headed. Somewhere in Magrasea, in what appears to be a null area. Oh? A black goat is jumping around here. A signal comes from parts unknown, and its destination is equally mysterious. Oh, you hardly ever contact me at times like this. Did you miss me after not seeing me for so long? What do you make Aurel do in the Coldplay sector? Aurel of the PRD sector? You didn't say anything when I took her in, so why are you asking about that now? She caused a big furor in the Coldplay sector and, there, and ended up attracting the attention of the Reverse Tower. Don't you think you're overstepping your bounds a little... Malkira? What the fuck? You haven't called me that in a long time. Honestly, are you that mad? Let me guess, you're mad because you're afraid you can't handle the reverse tower, am I right? You'd better answer my question first. Alright, Oda had a mission. I sent her there to help me confirm if there were those of my kind in Magrasea who I'm unfamiliar with. If there were those... There were those of my kind in Magrasea? All the entropics are under your control. You should know the situation in Magrasea well. But I sense them all the time. The signal of unfamiliar, of, of unfamiliar kin, as well as low-order individuals that I couldn't control. I was so surprised at first, because if I can't control them, there must be another arbiter with the same authority as me. Tell me, what on earth is that all about? Who, in all of Magrasea, would be authorized to carry out such research? You think I did it? 
How could I? We share a strong and respectful partnership, after all. Next boss is a god girl confirmed. <laughs> I trust you, and you trust me, right? You never thought of secretly raising something to supplant me, I hope? Of course. What you found was nothing more than an experimental subject reared by a sector administrator who walked a false path. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. But still, our system has determined that we can only have one arbiter. So you sent oil there to make a big fuss? You sent the exiles and the sanctifiers to clean up after you? What's wrong with that? They were cleaning up after you too. If we let that little arbiter continue to grow unchecked until she went on a rampage all over Magrasea one day, you will be in trouble too. I was solving a problem for you. After all, you went to great lengths to get off your high horse and work with me. These chances like these don't come by often. I wanted to do my best to help you out too. <laughs> Thank you very much then. I will repay your kindness. Someday. I'll be looking forward to it then. Will you keep contacting me frequently? The other party does not answer. The transmission ends and the jumping black goat stops moving. Silent falls once again on what appears to be a null area. Um, excuse me, what the fuck? Okay, let's try to do this. This is a tower defense ride. Let's see if I can do it. I'm just trying, I'm gonna try it once and then if not, I'll just, I'll end. Because, oh god, I am tired. I am hungry also. I hunger. Oh, okay, this is actual tower defense. Holy fuck, I do not want. Time to put my Arcanized Knowledge to the test. Uh, no! No! All right, there we go. Uh, uh. Ah, fuck, I can't. Uh, okay.
How long does this go for? Um... Oh, the yeah, ten test. Uh, okay. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I feel like the healers do not heal like at all. Come on, come on. All right. <laughs> Ooh, I learned I learned that much. It's a gold lady. Go, Betty, go! Hmm. Hmm. Betty MVP. For real, for real. Okay, last one. <laughs> oh, damn.
Okay. I I, I did it, I guess. <laughs> And that's the event complete! Bravo! A win is a win. We, we take those. Hooray! Victory! We out here gaming. Oh, let me do the... Ooh. Let's go! First try. My Arnett skills came in handy. Let's just do my things. Open these boxes. What do I get? Aha! Also, look what I got here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah! Holy fuck, another 5 hour stream. <laughs> Where do you go to break down algo boxes? Uh, in the warehouse. You go to the warehouse, consumables. And then you'll get like all the boxes that you can you can use and also your keys. A short five hour stream, yeah. I'll go do I'll go rest, order some food, rest, and then I'll do my exception protocol. <laughs> but yeah, the event is done, so we're ready. Do you know what that means guys? We're ready to start fixed point next weekend. Going from Nero Cloud to Gears Frontline because we love love and hope in here. <laughs> Fix point! I'll be playing on X now instead of normal, see how far I can get. I won't be trying UX. I won't I don't think so. It it scares me. But I'll be doing X since it should be should be good now, should be better. Because Mika has your life on a short leash. Exactly. And then there's the Diane event. On the 25. And then I gotta go back and actually finish reading um, Dark Dark Realm, you know, on Elios, I think. Elios and Enigma. So we have a while to go. I'm at the UX day one because I like love and hope. <laughs> you're you're stronger, you're stronger than us. Or you're stronger than me at least, which is not a very high bar to get to. Anyway, let's get back here. I'm gonna close the game. But yeah! We did it! Oh, I feel so tired. But it's done! It's done! It's done! I can't believe I actually did it in hard mode. I am so proud of myself. It might not be a big achievement for many people, but I'm usually very casual in games, so... I mean, it is the regular difficulty, but still. Still. Thoughts on the overall event? <laughs> Only two people died! It's, um, It was fun. Like... I like how it had like two, two stories kind of going on at the same time at one point. It's uh, it's fun to see how, you know, Persicaria and other dolls act without the professor around. And I mean, I love Antonina, so... <laughs> Being stuck with her on the ground was, was something. But, uh, yeah, it was fun. Um, Difficulty-wise... I mean, as I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a casual, so it's like... I like that it's like, as long as you've been playing, you know, or like doing your daily stuff, you should still be able to do it. Just maybe not, like, not as easily as people that, like... have, have like, all their stuff maxed and, like, you know, their proper algos, you know. 
Because I just saw like all my dolls are like I'm like my higher one is Croc at like seven k, and everyone else is like at six k, around there. So like I haven't even reached. I don't even have one doll at eight k, and I still could do it. Like there was just six seventeen. We wouldn't talk about that. We don't talk about that stage. Gotta pop out those numbers. I I do I do, but um, I gotta get more algorithms, and then I gotta like, what's the name? Ref refaction them, whatever to change your stats. On the emotional damage department, I'm Satch. I can't believe they made me feel sad for Demi or at the end. Like, how dare they? How dare? How dare they? I mean, it is to be expected, I guess, but I'm... Demiurge deserves better. Yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things, like... It's not like she was doing it on purpose, you know? It's not like she was evil. It's just what she was, and like... She was being kept there. Like, underground. And the whole thing with uh, Taranum too. Like someone like re someone rewrote her base commands and like she basically drove all the agents and like her friends to become the Meorch's food, which is like very fucked up. <laughs> no tears for Taranum. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's like, as I was saying, like, she got her entire base commands rewritten, so... She couldn't disobey, yeah, she had to follow, so it was, she was basically being, like, mind control all the time. And as so she was, like, feeding other agents and probably her friends to Demiurge, and, like, there's no coming back from that. There's no reset after that. But yeah, at that point, like at the end, she was just, it was, I mean, Antonia said it, said it to herself, you know, they, delete, they deleted the rewrite program and she was just like an empty husk. Like there was nothing of herself left except like at the very end. So it's, it is very sad too. And it makes me curious about like how, how did it come to that? You know, what happened in there? Just who is this person? Who were the two people talking there at the end? Why why does every Mika game give me so many questions and so little answers? Mika, Mika! <laughs> Takes my fist to the sky, Mika! So yeah, no, it was very interesting. And I'm as always, I love uh, Mika's writing. Because they want you to come back. God damn it. I love Mika's writing, you know, it's very easy to read while still being, you know, it's easy to get into the scenes. They still use like, you know, like kind of like more flowery writing to describe stuff, to narrate when, but it's just like the necessary amount. And the characters are nice, so it's it's always nice to see them interacting. You know, it doesn't really, for me at least, it doesn't really get boring to see them talk and interact with each other and as they follow along the story. In before it was William again. I mean, at this point... <laughs> we, it's funny because we meme around about William so much. And then I feel like at some point it's gonna actually he's gonna actually show up in Narrow Cloud and we're all going to gonna be like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I loved Hasuchiri and Suyoi, like whatever sibling relationship they had going on there was very f it was kinda refreshing to see. I didn't expect Hasuchiri to be like that just from her art, you know? Then I got it or like I saw her lines and I saw her in the vent and I was like, wow. She's actually like very soft. And I like how Suejo is pretty much is clearly the little the salty little brother. 
that is it's salty that that his older sister is, is better than him. But his older sister just generally cares about him constantly. <laughs> Bloody boy, so yeah, I can fix him. <laughs> So may not be a strong warrior in gameplay, but she will always be MVP in both the story and my heart. Yeah, Sol is very good and we got to see her mature a bit during like, you know, Pierides and Coplay. She's been like... Um, mellowing out slightly in the sense of like not being so easily angered. Or like not being, at least not being like, not letting herself be overtaken by, by her emotions. To the point of doing stuff that maybe it's not smart. We could have fixed Demiurge too. Yes. And she now has a playmate with the lazy. Yeah. I'm curious to see who will see. I'm very curious about the Guardians too. Like what's their deal? I wonder if we'll get to see more of them. Sooner rather than later. Because I mean. I know Suejoi. Comes at some point. And I am mean, I don't know if he has an event. I guess we'll see. I don't remember. I'm guessing he does because uh, a lot of... From what I've seen, it seems like a lot of characters, or at least I think all of them, or most of them, that get added later, at least it's the three stars, have like stories of their own. They either appear on like main story chapters or they have like their little character stories like the one Kuro had. So I'm curious about what we'll get to see of him. I want to see him again. I want him. My boy. <laughs> he's so beautiful. He's so pretty. I don't care if he's good or not. I want him. I never got Kuro sadly. One day she'll come to you. Yeah, I know Daya should have her own. Or they said her event's coming out on the 25th. So on that weekend, I'm probably bring the her event. Luckily, at least the character events are short, so I can actually just do it on one day and then just we go back to fixed point. <sighs> but anyway, I hunger. So I'm gonna go rest and order some food. I'll upload my schedule later. I'm still not sure what I'll do next week. I need to actually reach out to Maple to say I don't know if we're doing Fire Frame. So aside from next weekend, like I'll be doing Tales on Saturday and then Fixed Point on Sunday. Aside from that, I don't know what I'll be doing during the week. So stay tuned for the schedule on Twitter and or Discord. But for now, as I said, I must go. I must go. My stomach, my stomach needs me. I am hungry. I'm I'm becoming demiurge. I'm hungry. I just I hunger. I hungered. Yes, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. The hunger. The strikes. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. I hope you enjoyed. And um if I have more thoughts about the, the event, I'll probably share them on Discord later or like next stream. I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. So bye bye.